hello. How we doing, chill pro gamers? How we feeling? Can we hear me? Can we see me? Testing, testing. We're back. Um, I'd say this is moderately cozy, moderately chill. Um, we're back playing more Dave the Diver for the first time. Um, we got through chapter one um, uh, last uh, Thursday. <laughs> um, and we are getting closer to not only helping our sushi restaurant thrive, but learning about the mysterious not Atlantis sea people and discovering more creatures of the depths. We fought a giant squid and that was pretty dope. Um, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, thank you for spending the valuable resource of time here with me today. Um, yeah, remember to like, subscribe, ring the bell if you haven't. Check the settings, set them to all, blah, 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 YouTube words. Consider donating or becoming a member or donating at thethirdbuild.com or picking up some merch. All that money goes right back into the channels. Um, helps me uh, pay for games, pay off equipment I put on my credit card, save up for a PS5. And if there's any money left over from that, a little bit of bills, bills, like the internet bill, so we can have this beautiful connection together. Thank you to everyone who's donating. Thank you to the channel members. Um, thank you everyone watching and clicking. Do all the free things to support me too if you don't want to give or you can't right now. Watching, liking, sharing, social media follows, telling your discords, telling your reddits, telling your friends. <laughs> plug, plug, plug. Plug for me. Um, but I hope everyone's doing well. It's Monday. It's Earth Day. Happy birthday, Earth. Um, can't tell if this is a good move or not for the Earth. Like, we're not an evil corporation capturing thousands of farmed fish. We're, we're getting them in the wild. We're good for the ecosystem, I hope. Um, but consider this my favorite part of any of those like Planet Earth style documentaries. Um, whenever they were about the ocean, those are still my favorite. Um, yay, I see Hank's here. Hey, Hank, Electroshocks, Unwinnie Dose, Robeson. How we doing, guys? How we doing? Um, but yeah, sit back, relax, hope you enjoy. Oh, right, we got a, uh, million dollar cook-up. Catherine, thank you for the three. That, thank you so much for the donation. Let's celebrate their third super on a live stream. Can we get a pog and chat for Catherine's three? And your third super on a live stream. Thank you so much. That really does go a long way for paying for games and saving up equipment. I am I am gonna stop with the bit. It's not a bit. I am saving up money in the hopes of one day getting a PlayStation 5 so we can play more recent games and updated stuff. I'm gonna start dialing back on the jokes. Um, I feel like it's run its course. I feel like it's annoying. And I did catch myself saying a couple times when I was uh, finally able to see my mom and grandma, we were like, you know, paying for the hotel we were staying at when we were um, scattering my grandpa's ashes at the the place in the mountains where he camped a lot growing up. Um, there were a couple times I'm looking at the hotel bill or something, and I'm like, that's a PlayStation 5 right there, and they looked at me like I was crazy. And then I did it again a couple times when I got back, and I'm like, I do this too much now. So yes, I'm still saving money for a PlayStation 5 ideally this year. Consider donating and becoming a member, blah, blah, blah. Um, but we're going to stop the bits. Because also, um, I feel like the vibe has shifted when some people uh, change up the vibe when it comes to uh, how to support content creators, we'll say. I have no opinion. I stay in my lane. I make my videos as often as I can, and I do my silly little streams. Jokes are fun and keep us here. Uh, well, Lindsay, a PS5 would keep me here. There, there you go. <laughs> Hope you're good, Lindsay. Um, Oh, you need to clarify in the members only community post about future games I want to play. Become a member. Um, I was thinking about doing a little catch up stream on the off chance there's not a state of play or any sort of like gaming conference stream coming up just so we can say hi and chat. Um, and you threw out a time without a time zone for when you're available. And I'm like, damn, Lindsay, that doesn't help. Canada doesn't just have one time zone. Or do they? Canada's pretty small, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like Rhode Island. Yeah. If you got a fast car and a ticket to get us out of here, hello. New friend. Robeson, thank you for the five. 
Chat, keep donating. We're getting the fire music when you donate. Wait. So it was you, the one who's been harming the OCN. You, oh wow, this is a weird day to start Earth Day, but let's go protecting the planet, but not by being this aggressive about it. Um, I thought I had and did it for your time zone. Hell yeah, Lindsay Parasoch, let's go. <laughs> My time zone is the only time zone. Um, thank you for clarifying. You even vomited, you disgusting creature. Wait, that wasn't me, it was... I have no teammate for your petty excuses. Now that you've been cocked by John Wasin of Say Blue, the Gordians of the Say, you won't be leaving so easily. I'll turn you into fish food. Oh my God. Whoa. This isn't very, the fishies. Oh my Pisidian. This is all your fault. You did this to the precious say. You're the one shooting the bombs. All I do is catch a few fish to keep the restaurant running. Why don't you look into the fishing vessels responsible for catching thousands of fish, not individual divers like me? Let's go, Earth Day. Let's go, Earth Day. Chat, can we get a poggers in chat? Can we get a pog in chat to end global warming? If only, if only we donated enough. Maybe global warming wouldn't be happening if I had a PS5. I don't know about you guys, but ending global warming would be pretty pogers. <laughs> that's my <laughs> that's my next shirt. <laughs> the third Bill was my favorite YouTuber until he held the entire planet hostage because he wanted a PlayStation 5. <laughs> but yes, let's go Earth Day. That's not a bit. Please do everything you can. I was very brave today. I saw a big ass, a couple. There was like four big ass bumblebees buzzing around. I was very brave. I didn't panic or swat at them, even though I'm terrified of bees. Anyway, you know what I'm not terrified of? This sick beat. <laughs> My ex man had a new girlfriend. Enough blabbling. I'll shut that yapper of yours. Yapper, I hardly. Here goes. Oh my god. Poggers, let's go. Oh my god, Poggers, let's go. Ah! I'm trying to think of something like cool action hero to say to the the uh, ag aggressive uh, not Greenpeace over here. Because Greenpeace, right? They don't they're not like how PETA treats Pokemon, right? Where it's like randomly they'll, they'll start a campaign against Pokemon for no reason. Ah! 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 I'm trying to think of something really cool. Uh, uh, the Great Barrier Reef. We get a Pog in chat. No damage, no death, still on. That's too wordy for a shirt. I disagree. Kuh. How dare you fight back against me? John Wasen, formerly of Navi Cells. I want to thank you for your service. I would have let you win if it was Memorial Day. That should survey as an adequate warning. So I'll back away for now to protect the environment. But I won't let you go unpunished. Ugh. If you persist in damaging the Osen, we're watching you. Wait, was he flirting with me? A path has opened up in the direction John Watson's escape. Let's go that way to reach the signal. Okay. Thanks for helping me. That was pretty cool. I, it's not as great as playing, was it Kirby in the Forgotten Lands? 
where the first time you do a boss and there's a freaking Elden Ring <laughs> health bar at the bottom of the screen. Oh, I can't. Okay. This is pretty cool. We pogged so goddamn hard we saved the planet, Shan. Hank. Hank. You've asked me this question before. If only you were a real stan like Lindsay who remembers what time zone I'm in. Uh, it would be a disc edition because I have like a, well, I, I do physical copies whenever I can get them at a good deal. But I have a couple of games where I'm like, I'm not buying this again digitally. Like I have like Elden Ring, right? And so I'm like, I, I don't wanna have to get Elden Ring a second time because it doesn't load discs. And also I need a DVD player. It's the only way I can watch Infinity Train season one and two. F in the chat for Infinity Train. But also W in chat because I tweeted about Infinity Train and it got like a thousand likes and I'm like, why don't you guys do this for me all the time? I wish I was cool on social media. No one cares when I'm brave, when I'm scared of bees. Dude, some of these fish are straight up bullies. Boink. Hello, Tim. How you doing? Oh my God. Okay. Um. But no, probably the disc. Plus, also every once in a while, like with the um, near replicant and automata like they were on sale recently on like the playstation digital store but i got a really good deal on like new physical copies and i'm like well it's five bucks cheaper for each so i'm saving 10 bucks and i get the disc so in a world where i'm like oh the near games aren't really for me i could at least like turn them into a used game store and get some like credit back or something but that's not what happened. Spoilers. Go watch all my stuff all the time. Um, so I'm glad I still have them. But no, I like physical copies when I can get them. And I have a bunch. Like, I don't want to have to rebuy, like, Elden Ring. I have the Dark Souls trilogy. Um, Resident Evil 4 remake. All my Kingdom Hearts games are physical. Like, uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Please, please. I'm a good little boy. Ah! <laughs> oh, that didn't do, am I stuck? Oh my God, I'm stuck. Help. Talk to me. Nobody look at me. Nobody talk to me. Ooh. Small net gun. Oh, nice. Cool. I like that. I feel like I'm still learning new things about this game. No! Oh, no! Will it? It did not. Ah, shit. Now I don't have a weapon against the scary thing. Oh, God. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. Eh. Uh, I think I'm going the wrong way. Vinegar. Oh, God. No. Why does everyone want to kiss me? <laughs> that's where the, that's where the, I almost said mer people, the sea people come from. 
Hey, I'm a deep sea diver. Deep sea diver, hardly. Oh, this is nice. A flashlight that gives off a special kind of light makes two berms briefly hide. Nine seconds of battery use time. Oh, it's an item. Oh, well. I guess. Will I need this? Uh, be nice. Be nice to me. Be nice to me. Be nice to me. Uh. Help. Okay. Uh, everything down here is a bully. Uh. What? What did that? Oh, did it give me oxygen? Shoot, I wasted it. Haha! <laughs> Didn't mean to stab him one more time. That was a pretty <laughs> cheap move. Seashells already have these by the seashore. Brittle starfish. Ooh, well, okay. Well, don't need those anymore. Ah. No! The tube worms will shrink away from UV light, allowing you to pass. Find a UV light in a nearby chest. If you can't find one, maybe try a melee attack? Well, at least there's an escape here, but I got good oxygen. Leaving myself in the heart of the car. It's at, what the hell? Which one of you doubted me, be honest? Breaking hard rock, you can, oh. Some minerals can only be mined with a pickaxe. Acquire valuable minerals with your pickaxe and upgrade your weapons. Oh, sick. Probably that one over there. Ow. It's giving Stardew. Am I right, gamers? But I netted you. Okay, we're, we're, we're leaving. We're leaving. Ow. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm going to die here. Close to that. Really hopeful I can get to this thing without mm. two worms. Uh huh. Dr. Bacon, I have two worms walking my path. Is there a solution? Uh oh, shoot. What was. Uh, hey, let's oh. see. Right. Two worms are said to hate UV light. <clears throat> UV light! And will shrink away from it. You don't happen to have one lying around, do you? Oh, you already have one. Try shining it on them. Hey. Huh? This is taking an awful long time. Please. Don't let me die down here alone, coach. Oh, this gives you health, doesn't it? It does. Oh, praise the all, all hail the magic conch. Ooh, and an oxygen tank. Oh my god, do I get to kiss all the sea people? Huh? It's the sea people from before. Oh no, they're both kind of hot. Oh no, wait, you're in duress. This isn't hot. I thought it was like, ooh, a human found me. Never mind. I thought this was a couple that liked my vibe. Uh, they're saying something. I can't tell what they're saying. I'll have to call Dr. Bacon. My goodness, wow! To think that the sea people were real, it's simply incredible! Um, they're saying something to me, but I can't understand them. Yeah, I think analyzing the patterns might allow us to translate. Come back up to the boat for now, I'll try and think of a way to translate. Maybe a kiss will, oh. <laughs> they're just swearing at us. Can't understand what it's saying? They're saying? I should go to bed. Okay. Okay. It's got this full tank of oxygen. And maybe true love's kiss can break the spell. I'll just... I don't know which one of you is cursed, but I'll just kiss both of you. Anyway. Is 
Let's see if there's anything else cool down here before we. I got a bunch of oxygen. That. Oh my god, they come back? Rude. Oh boy, salt. Pretty unrealistic to find it in this ocean. Oh my god. Ah, oh, those freaking things keep punching me. No, what is that? Don't fight me. Are you a shark or a whale? I can't tell, I don't have a gun. All right, I'm out. All right, chat, you insisted that I don't go any further. I was prepared to be brave, but chat kept insisting that I be safe and smart. Right, everybody? Uh, can it? There we go. Please, God. Ah. Uh, there's nothing else that I can gather? I guess it's that. Okay. <laughs> I love how if it's too close to a wall, it'll just hit the wall. Escape, please. Thanks. Oh, God. We need to start normalizing having the screen go black for transitions. It hurts my eyes. And it's also, it's on the OBS preview, too. So everything just like Bill whites out when he's out of available Pokemon. Why did it change from you blacked out to you whited out? Did anyone notice that in Pokemon? Yeah, I didn't expect the sea people civilization to be real, but to think that I live in sea people. This is truly the find of the century. This is thanks to you, Dave. Uh, five hundred. Oh, bye, Lindsay. Sorry, you can't stay. Have fun doing whatever you're doing, unless it's something sad, in which case I hope it goes well. You know what I mean. Bye. All right, now that Lindsay's gone, I got five hundred gold and five olive oils. Uh, oh god. Oh, haha. <laughs> Let's tell all the news outlets in the world about this. Wait, I think that might be risky. But why? That's how we'll get people flocking to this place. It wouldn't matter if we were talking about some ruins, but these are living sea people. Poachers are bound to show up. They'll start hurting the sea people since the, that will the, since that will be a way to get a lot of attention. You have a point there. How about we first make a translator I hardly to an analyze the sound waves and figure out what they're saying? I, th I think they have something to tell us. We'll first need a Sea People stone tablet with their writing on it, as well as a microphone and an amethyst and pearl and Steven. If I'm guessing right, the microphone should be below the sunken ship and the stone tablet is likely to be in the record chamber. I hear you can mine amethyst at 100 meters or deeper with, oh my god, okay. Uh, the record chamber, the ship, and if you can't remember the locations, check the to-do app. I'll add the information there. Bye. I'm losing my mojo for that voice. I don't know why. I just don't want to feel like I'm screaming. I want this to be relaxing. Ish. 
Wow, we were down there for 13 minutes. Let's go, gamers. Oh, my king. Speaking of Yu-Gi-Oh. I forgot about you. Oh, what voice did... Oh, yeah, we! You seem energetic today. I saw a boss card acquisition notification pop up on your marine card account. It's this giant squid boss card. How'd you get this? It's such a rare card. Uh, well, I was just on my way to pick up a delivery and his chance would have it. Okay, I don't have a clue what that means, but in case you've made amazing, but in any case, you've made amazing progress. Try collecting all the rare battle cards. Something good's sure to happen. <laughs> Once you fight the three Egyptian gods, you'll be unstoppable. Oh, and if you venture to new regions, for example, the depths, the automatic marine card AI system will unlock a new card pack. Don't forget to collect fish cards in the new regions as well. Goodbye then. Choo choo. <laughs> cool. I. Do you think the cards matter? Oh my god. Everyone wants a piece of me today. Um. Oh crap. Who the hell are you? Uh. I'm running out of voices. Uh. Uh, uh, wait, can I have a moment with you? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, you are? Tee hee, I should introduce myself first. I'm a reporter for the magazine Weekly Fish. The name is Udo. Oh, I've read that magazine too. It covers unique fish species. Ah, oh, you have, that's right. I heard that the blue hole is home to a variety of fish species. Is that true? Uh, you could say that. There are all kinds of fish species. Speci fish species damn that's weird for me from around the world i knew it so i've come to the right place i'd love to take pictures myself for the magazine but unfortunately i can't dive speaking of which would you help me take some pictures pictures yeah see you have that nice camera over there oh it's the one from dr bacon I'm no expert in photography. I'm not sure if I'm good enough. Don't worry. If you read of Weekly Fish, you'll get a feel for what kind of fish to photograph. And, of course, I'll reward you if you take a nice picture. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, if you say so. All right. It'd be nice to make a record of this amazing world. Cool. Uh. Oh, I have a lot. I should upgrade my stuff. Hold on. Um. Ah, uh, jeez. I guess the harpoon gun. Hooray! Uh. Yay! Hell yeah! Happy Earth Day, gamers! I'm a level two eco watcher. I got an eco health bracelet. Can we get more pogs in chat to save the planet? Ooh, a resistance to poison. That's kind of cool. Okay, anyway. Oh, look at us! That was from the party at the end of chapter one. So does the great customers. Just prepares the food. Good. He's an artist. That's enough joy scrolling. Um, oh, I can... Yes, yeah, the afternoon. Okay, so I can do another one. I need to find... I guess I'll go back to the record room, because I know where that is, kind of. <sighs> Pog for the planet. That's the shirt right there. Attention, gamers. We need a pog to save the planet. You see, Mother Nature is failing at a quick time event and needs our help to smash that square button and hit L1 and R1 at the appropriate times. You know, I never really understood global warming until my favorite YouTuber, the third Bill, 
explained it to me like that in terms I understand, like relating to me without talking down to me. <laughs> A hush dart. Non-lethal tranquilizer gun. Tranqu oh. Good? Bad? I can't tell if this is good or bad. Oh, do you think I can take on eels now? There's a lot of you. Are these the fish that I have to, like, keep harassing until I can harvest them? Oh, no. There we go. Never mind. It's fine. Maybe I've just become so powerful, but I remember chasing a fish around <laughs> in the last stream. <laughs> Leave him alone, Bill. You're being a bully. Ooh. Uh, ow. Let me touch you. I guess I can. What do I do about the eels? Leave them peacefully in this planet that we share? I think not. Oh, that's cool. It's, a, it's an upgrade. That's nice. so close to me. fight you. That'll help. Okay. Oh, shark. Okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> the shark wants to give me kisses. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Chat, save me. Chat, defend your YouTube fave. Cancel the shark <laughs> immediately. Not another one, please. Please have mercy. Please, I have a chat. What's that strange coral? Whoa. Oh my god, it's an octopus! Oh, you're my favorite. No! Uh, 
Oh, that octopus is braver than you think. Just wait till I catch you. Here I come. Investigate the strange coral. All right, well. Oh, is he gonna help me open the thing? Finally caught up. You stay right. McCavity, clever girl. Octopi are the best. Oh no, it escaped through a door crack. I don't think I could fit in there. Come to think of it, I could probably use the gas cutter from Duff to cut my way in. Just you wait, octopus. We're gonna be best friends. Oh yeah, this. Do I have to track the... I guess so. I keep leaving the circle and I'm not getting punished every time that happens. Oh, but I missed this? That was weird. Okay, well, we did it. Never mind. Go to new region? Yeah? A shark started smooching us aggressively. Hi, Polyphonica. How you doing? You're, you've got nowhere to run now. Give up and be my best friend. Guess I'll have octopus. No, you'll have sashimi with the octopus for dinner. No, good run. If we can't be friends, at least you're safe. It escaped again. It's so quick. Huh? It dropped something. It seems to be an artifact. I'll have to identify it back at the surface. Fresh bird for Well, at least it's safe. And I totally did not go the way I thought I was going, so. We, we found something new. <sighs> How's everyone doing, chat? We doing good? Been working on a bluey script. A spec script. I'm pitching. <laughs> I um. I told them I was Australian. <laughs> that would actually be a really funny like indie comedy, where it's like, where it has to specifically be Bluey, but it's like I want to work on Bluey, so I lied and said I was Australian, and they like my script and want to interview me, and it's like, oh no, I have to, I have to do something, or do I come clean at the end? And I do. Uh, I guess, yeah, that would just be nice. Uh -huh. I like their derby little pixel loading screen heads. Hello. Well, found it. <laughs> Do you know where the artifact is, chat? Behind you. Now I just need an intercom microphone to create the Sea People Translator. I hardly. Is that all that's in here? It's a picture of Daddy holding in a shit. Sea Daddy? Ocean Daddy? Poseidon Daddy. Poseidon Daddy? Speaking of Poseidon, I want to finally fully play Hades. Thoughts? Can we handle that, though? Can we handle that? No one likes it when I'm having fun. I'm very much not miserable playing Hades. <sighs> I 
almost everyone is hot, even death. Uh, what are you? Ooh, a Foscal. Uh, do I need rope? Uh, that's a big old shark boy. Ooh, I'm a scrap metal collector. Okay, please, please be nice to me. Okay, that's huge. I'm gonna die. I don't think I should be over here. Oh, no, not the gun. Okay, well. I wish you could distract the shark by uh, shooting fish. And then it's like, oh boy, fish. I could feed the shark. Ah, okay. You know what, let's quit while we're ahead, huh, gang? Oh god, oh god. It can climb the stairs when it's charging, help. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Are we gonna fight or do I have to leave the room? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> Bye. Wait, you dropped your keys. Yeah, I, it's because I've been seeing news about Hades, too, and I'm like, I never got to fully finish Hades, because I thought, like, oh, I did it. We'll come back to it later, and then we just did a million other things. But yeah, I fell in love with Hades. I'm very excited for Hades, too. And I won't lie, if they do console early access or whatever, and it's for PS5, not PS4, we will be returning to the aggressive campaign to get me a PS5. I need the Hades hotties. Oh my god. I can't believe I did nothing wrong and that shark just attacked me out of nowhere. Right, everybody? I'm the unproblematic king of the sea. Steadily making the right upgrades will be the key to preventing your sudden demise. <laughs> I, the way it's worded is very pleasing. Okay. Oh, cool. Uh-huh. Oh, what do you do? Octopus bracelet. A bracelet found in the corner when she said, Use L3 to dash a short distance. Oh, that's cool. As opposed to the swim faster thing. Equip the octopus bracelet to dash distances with L3. No oxygen is used, but the gauge needs to fill again for the ability to be. Oh, that's dope. Thanks, man. Uh, Dave, are you busy? <laughs> Paula Panica, no. <laughs> I just bought a new mattress. Guess I'll sell it so Bill can play the new Hades. Uh, if everyone sold a portion of their mattress, you wouldn't have to sell your whole mattress. <laughs> oh, damn it. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> if everyone, if all 5,000 of you sold one 5,000th of your mattress, I'd have a PS5 by now. <laughs> Everyone's just like, do we tell them that's not how that works? Uh, not at the moment. What is it? We have a strange customer at the sushi bar. Could you come over for a minute? I'm scared. As the manager, that's something I can't overlook. I'll come over right away. Am I the manager? Have a good day. Downgrading so I can get a PS5 makes you a king, though. <laughs> a California king. California royalty. <laughs> can any of the NBs in chat tell me? Um, what size mattress the non-binary royal term would be? <laughs> would it be somewhere between a king and a queen? Or, or is it a grander state than California? Are <laughs> <laughs> you renting a mattress? Um, oh, 
right. I need... Okay, you've got 50 cooking. Okay. Cool. I forgot all about hiring people. I'm stimulating the economy and creating jobs. What did you do on Earth Day? Um, how do I equip? Uh, diver? No. There's composite? No, that's the whole phone. Oh, shoot. How do I... Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, bit. Oh, shucks. How do I equip weapons? No. Oh, the box? Yes. Increases dash speed by 30%. L3 to dash a short distance. Didn't I get another ring or no? Oh, here we go. Reduces damage taken by 10%. Oh, dear. We're going to do that. Cool. All right. <laughs> they can hurt me 10% less at the restaurant. Let's go. Texas Royal. Let's fucking go. <sighs> Someday. Uh, hello, viewers. This is Yui from Star the Chef. Now we're back at Banjo Sushi. What kind of sushi will the chef have prepared, I wonder? I have prepared jellyfish sushi. Ooh. Oh. Jellyfish? You mean like you mean Chinese cold vegetables? Oh. Did you think that could win the acknowledgement of Vincent Yamaoka while ignoring the traditional ingredients? No, but <laughs> you call yourself a gourmet? Will you judge before? Will you judge before you even tasted it? Ooh. All right, bring it over there. All right, I'll bring you one serving of jellyfish sushi. Oh my God, let's go. Hold up, chat, let him cook. Shut up. There you go. Wow, so this is jellyfish sushi. Sushi. So this is jellyfish. The flesh is transparent. The white dots are pretty as well. What? You made it with bunched rice? You should have made it. You should have made sure it doesn't scatter by making gunk and maki instead. It'll dry up. Hurry up and eat. It's already been seasoned. With my fist. Tisk. I know it can't possibly taste good, but since it's for the program, I'll try it. <laughs> I love the PG Food Wars reactions to the special food. Vincent, the look on your face. This is amazing. I can taste the sea as soon as I bite into it, and the jellyfish is nice and firm. And I taste something popping inside. Could it be flying fish row? Wait, they're bigger than that. Caviar? No, that would have killed the jellyfish flavor. Could it be? Yes! I added some sea grape below the jellyfish! Firm jellyfish flesh and sea grape, huh? This is the sea. I taste the sea. The sea where the sea kelp sweat. I couldn't help but admit it. This sushi is amazing based on a very deep understanding of ingredients. But why is it they use such unknown ingredients instead of the proven ones? The first reason is the taste! Jellyfish has a gentle, mild taste with a strong texture, making it a perfect match for the scent and flavor of sea grape. Ugh. The second reason is the potential. There are so many kinds of ingredients out there. Insisting on using only the verified few is the same as ignoring the infinite possibilities. Thank you for those amazing words, Boncho. Now then, it's time for the evaluation. Vincent, all right, let's get into the evaluation. Now this is the jellyfish sushi that Vincent that that made Vincent marvel and Mr. Boncho who created this dish. What will the score be? I'll give Boncho sushi 80 points. Oh. Huh? Isn't that too low? You look quite impressed while eating. Listen, the sushi was excellent. This establishment lacks something though. Mm. Eating combines many enjoyments. To think you'd only offer green tea with the beetle. What? Eat my ass, Vincent. To think you'd only offer green tea with this beautiful ocean in front of us. 
Romance. This place doesn't have enough romance and appreciation for the arts. That's why I'll give this place 80 points. As a side reward, I'll give you a... Re Did we not have a refrigerator before? A refrigerator, I hardly... Being able to drink cold beer from that fridge would make the score 100 and be perfect. Wow, as expected of you, Vincent. That was an excellent opinion. I'm sorry we can't afford a refrigerator right now. We're new. We're the underdogs. Who? Something like this really happened to me once, and it's really getting under my skin. Bill Gates cost me a high school musical award. Because we were not one of the schools funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and it showed. <laughs> Those schools were doing like Sweeney Todd. Meanwhile, we got docked points because one of our lights in the house was flickering, and it's like, yeah, the school doesn't have the money to replace the bulb. Now, how would you like the star, sh star of the chef today? We'll be looking forward to Bancho Sushi exotic... We'll be looking forward to Bancho Sushi's exotic sushi being served with beer. See you again next time. <laughs> Army. <laughs> Purple heart for Army. This was the reporter Yui. Wow, we got a mini fridge and a thousand bucks. And 50 people liked this. Everyone smash the like, subscribe, and donate. Oh, shit. I have to learn how to do this. Customers will now sometimes order beer af after their meal. Pour them their drinks and create additional revenue. Oh, cool. More work for me. That guy's yelling. Wow, Boncho, amazing. That picky Vincent acknowledged you. The tongue does not lie. I want someone to say that to me while holding me romantically. Ideally in this setting. Uh, Vincent has a point. Shall we try selling beer from now on? We need to get our liquor license first. You can't just say, I think I'll try selling beer from now on. Uh, staff, here we go. Uh, oh. Oh my god, this costs... Oh, it costs money up front. Thank god I have money. Uh. Do I just pay him once up front? Your salary is $400? Sir, value yourself. Love yourself. Alright, looks like I'm also gonna need... Oh, can I hire the other person, too? Their serving's only 28, and their appeal is 8. No, thank you. What does that mean, their appeal is only 8? They <laughs> only know how to do 8 things. One of them is walking. Another one is walk fast. Uh, let's put a TV ad out. See what happens. Because I'm going to need help. Hiring has begun. Pray hired. Okay. Um. Hey, Blaze, how you doing? Ooh, we can put jellyfish sushi on the menu. Ooh, and it's expensive and fancy. All right, let's do that. Um, ooh, let's level up this for sure. I love these. Oh my god. <laughs> Me. Oh, except he's terrified. I think so far that's my only like legitimate criticism for this game so far is I'm like I only want to enhance one dish per run because I want to see the animations again. Oh, it takes six to level. Oh, it's already level three. That's why. Yeah, I wish you did the animation every time.
It's hard deciding what to pick. So I also start to lose track of everything I have on the menu so far. I think that's pretty good. He's got help in the kitchen now. We're doing great. Can I? Oh, I have to talk to him? Uh, huh? Who dares interrupt me? I'm sorry, we're not open yet. You, you can't come in like this. Well, aren't you strict? I have sim I was simply saying a few words. I haven't been to the beach in a while and it brings back old memories. I was an amazing diver before I took a harpoon. Nice. Before I took a harpoon <laughs> in the knee. I was a diver like you before I took an arrow to the knee. Uh, so you were a diver? I'm also a diver. A holy diver. I've been out too long in the midnight sea. Oh, what's becoming of me? Jump, jump, jump on the tiger. You could see his stripes, but you know he's clean. <laughs> then you must know the divers dream of swimming in all the seas of the world. Forests of coral, ponds of sperm whales, fight to the death of tiger sharks. Hmm, that brings to mind a dish I'd really love to eat. What dish do you mean? When I was little, the mora eel curry at my fishing village was famous. I couldn't forget its taste. If you could make that dish, perhaps I'll give you a nice gift. <laughs> Kiss? Mm, more eel curry. More eel hides in the rocks, making it difficult to catch. How do you get one? Oh, wow. Okay, I'm learning today. Uh... You know how to dive, but you don't know much of the ecology, do you? More eels are nocturnal and only come out at night. Do you have gear for night diving? Uh, I did get a flashlight recently. That should do just fine. More eels are nocturnal. Please go night diving and catch a more eel to fulfill my wish. I haven't gone diving at night for a while. Maybe I will try it. You can now dive once every night. There are many vicious nocturnal fi Oh my god. But you'll also see exotic fish. Always pay attention to the sushi bar's opening hours. This game is so, like, it just keeps unraveling, revealing itself to me coyly. Um, all right, let's go Poggers. <clears throat> T, T, anyone? T, T, T. T, 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 anybody, anybody, T. <laughs> T. No, someone needs T down there. Oh, I'll be right back. Oh, we'll be right back. Ah, uh, I tried to talk to you about beer. I haven't done that yet. Oh, no. Oh, I'm overwhelmed. Unfriendly? 300 likes? Wow, y'all really do flock to negativity. Uh, oh, how do I do beer? Oh, God, how do I do beer? Close. Running. I should have picked up food on the way. I'm sorry. Good. I gotta figure out how to do this. Like, that's not hard enough to do in real life. Ow, my eyes. Did I at least sell enough of the fancy stuff? dollars wow I can't tell if I did good or not I'm worried that I wasted a bunch of the fancy jellyfish sushi I've never worked at a nice restaurant everywhere I worked at it's like oh we didn't sell all the sushi wrap it in cellophane put it next to the ketchup and the cold locker and we're gonna serve it again tomorrow huh some kind of mail is here. Should I check it? 
No. Blue Hole Tourism Jellyfish Party. Hello, residents. We have finally launched a tourism committee to promote the newly discovered mysterious Blue Hole. Our first event, the Jellyfish Party, will be held in three days. If you know of any restaurants that can serve jellyfish dishes to match the theme, please spread the word. Do I tell them? Should I just start gathering as much jellyfish as I possibly can? Hello? Oh, we were in the middle of a not cut scene. All right. Oh, a party. Uh, oh, a party. What a nice looking picture. Mm. Wah, ha, ha. I guess they're trying to open this place for tourism. I just hope it doesn't get too chaotic. Oh. Well, it's a party held on a special day. We just need to prepare for more customers. The mail said the party's theme was jellyfish. Jellyfish dishes should be popular. It's October 1-5, so we have three days. Haha, <laughs> make sure to repair some jellyfish, whatever kind it may be. Let's hit the jackpot. Special customers arrive during events. Prepare the dishes they like in advance. You might hit the jackpot. Oh my god, look at them. This island's full of hotties. Um, okay. Well, let's... Oh, no, not that. This won't let me upgrade too much, but let's definitely the suit. Okay, everything's level five now, and I have no money for anything else. Sick. Um, uh, oh, I need 25 more taste. So I need to tell my social media following to taste more? Taste me more? Chat, run. <laughs> Zero people watching. What? We, we will be rulers of the jellyfish. All the jellyfish will call me Papa. All right. I guess we're typing now. Um. Oh, do I have stuff to turn on here? I think it was a little... oh, yeah. I guess this doesn't matter if I don't have it done done. Oh, I guess it does. Huh. Alright. It's confusing. There's so many things to keep track of. Barrel jellyfish, I hardly. Wow, that adding beer to the menu made everything very chaotic. I'm glad we finally added. We need, I guess, now that he's putting out food really fast, I guess I need another server at the restaurant. Okay, so we need to get as much jellyfish as we can along the way. It's like that one right there. Ow. And I'm being rewarded for helping the nature of the ocean. Uh, the, I almost said economy. What am I thinking of? Not economy. The ecology of the ocean? The environment. The ecosystem. Ecosystem of the ocean. Everybody wins. No, I don't want the little hammer thing. Um. Okay, it's a tiny boost, but that will prevent me from using up extra oxygen when I'm moseying around. That's cool. I need gloves so I can pick up urchins. Cat food? Oh, cat food. Should I give it? Yes, we can feed the kitty! Chat, poggers, let's go. I mean, if we hit the donation goal and get enough new members, we'll feed the cat. 
that's a sign of the economy. Is when I'm like, something will happen to this virtual cat if you don't donate. I'm not seeing more jellyfish. Ooh. While you were all being fish, I was studying the blade. Ooh, more cat food. If only, if only we had more donations and members. Guess I'll just throw this cat food back into the ocean. Bill, you're gonna kill the planet and a fish? Unsubscribe. Anyway, I don't want to fight the shark if I don't have to. Okay. That barracuda has noticed me. But I got bad news, honey. I am not your senpai. Right? That's how it goes. Notice me, senpai. Yeah. Ooh, and I'm helping the... I almost said economy again. The ecosystem. Uh, one's not real. We invented it. Ah, it's a big old shark! Please... Please spare me. Spare me and I'll grant you three wishes, please. Ooh, there we go. Let's fucking go. Uh. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Socks just out of here. Ooh, run to it. Ah! Ah! What happened? What's happening? What? Oh. Well, I didn't know I could do something. Explain things to me, game. Oh, I got him. Thanks, game. All right, F in the chat for the shark. It was a tiger shark. A what? It's from Jaws. Like to get this microphone before I have to leave. There's the ship. Right, you said it was in the sunken ship. Yeah, in real life, fighting a shark is bad, but also, in real life, I wouldn't be fighting a shark unless it was in self-defense. <laughs> right? Is this where I want to be? At least I have oxygen. There it is. Good, I got all the materials. I should be able to make it to the Sea People Translator now, I think. I should deliver it to Dr. Bacon. Dr. Bacon's been dead for 50 years. What? What's so funny? What show? No, I, what, I don't even know what I said to set you off. Oh... Uh, does it perhaps involve someone related to Tom Hanks? Yeah. yeah. God. Uh, leave the shipwreck, please. Starry Puffer, I hardly. Sharky wants a hug. Megalodon, how about Megalodon? <laughs> I love those movies. I haven't seen the third one, but I saw a Giant Octopus and Crocosaurus. Oh, God. Mega Shark versus Giant Octopus is sublime. 
bad cinema. Can't really not carry anything else. What if this is treasure? Oh, this is just an item. Right, I'm ready to go now. I'm over encumbered. Oh, that's cool. He's not like he breathing heavily in the decompression chamber anymore. He's like enjoying it more. I just noticed that. Has that always been like that? Because the last couple times when we take the escape route, he's like hunched over and his like hands are between his legs and he's like, heh, heh, heh. this time he was like, haha. -ha. Like he's getting more accustomed to it. He's getting better at it. <clears throat> wow, you had to visit a lot of places, but you managed to get everything. Now that's what I call lucky. I'll use them to try and make a translator in my lab, I hardly. I'll need some time to make it. You can go about your business in the meantime. I'll be in touch soon. Time to let go. Okay. Oh yeah, and I caught a freaking tiger shark. I just love my derpy little face after giving him the thumbs up. It's like, thumbs up, and you just kind of face forward to yourself. He's my friend. He's my buddy. We're pals. Uh, shop. Sell. Not that. The bowls? Yeah, these are treasure. You can sell them at the shop. Okay. Sold. I don't think I have anything else that's really like treasure, treasure. I don't like, I get like this with all RPGs I'm not familiar with. I don't want to sell things on the off chance. It's like, here's this awesome thing you really want, but you need 10 pieces of early loot that you sold for no reason. Now I need, oh, I need to come back at night for more eel curry, but I also need a bunch of jellyfish. So let's focus on jellyfish. Sea toad, a dark brown fish with a large round body, short tail, and many spines. It is about 30 centimeters long, lives on continental inclines at depths at about 2,400 mm, and walks about on its fins to prey on passing animals. Your current missions and their tasks can be seen in the to-do app on your phone. I love the two different tones. It's like, here's some interesting nature facts. Press X. <clears throat> oh, this is a cutscene. I was going in that direction. <gasps> Look at the big boy! And the fish love me. Whoa, it's a humpback whale. It's so big that it makes the blue hole look smaller. <laughs> I've been told that once or twice myself, actually. Look at him go! I was like, please don't make me hunt the whale. Can it just be my friend? Look at him go! That's so cool. I hope like big critters and stuff go by in the background more. <laughs> wow, the beautiful majesty of a humpback whale. Oh sweet, a bat, I'm gonna hit fish with this. Got him. starfish though where are the jellyfish oh it's a little shark there's an eel but I can't get him at this time of day oh no not that so you're the scuba diver for the sushi restaurant right yeah that's me What's that bat for? 
I don't understand the question. I don't know why he whacks it with a baseball bat. Why is it responding this way? <laughs> have mercy like i hate this like i'm just harassing a fucking fish i have to do it for capitalism stab. Sharks are some of my favorites. But I also must hog champ hard on video game. Oh god, oh god. Minus the parts where I'm, like, beating fish with baseball bats, this is really relaxing. That's why I'm calling this, like, a mostly cozy game. Again, why do I have poison barbed harpoons? Isn't that gonna impact the restaurant to some capacity at least? I 
I'm still not finding more jellyfish. That's so crazy. Oh, cool. Bombs. Ah! Like, I would play the hell out of this game if it was, like, the Pokemon Snap version, where it's like, you're just taking lovely pictures of the sea, and then also working at a sushi restaurant. Don't worry where the meat came from. <laughs> Ooh, a purple starfish, that's new. I feel like I'm too deep now for uh, jellyfishing. Oh, wrong way. No, I went the wrong way. I don't think there's gonna be much jellyfishing down here. Ah, uh, Barracuda. Oh, I don't have my baseball bat anymore. Damn it. Distance! Distance so I can shoot you, please. <laughs> oh, dinosaur bones. Let's go. fight a shark where I can barely move. It's an oxygen tank. I think I'm ready to rejoin surface world now. Ascension. Nightmare felled. Prey slaughtered. Oh, big shark. Jeez, oh dear. Oh, and there it is. Don't notice me. 
Nailed it. Wasn't even scared. Neither were you. <laughs> what? I wasn't scared. Neither were you. Everyone was confident in my abilities just now. <laughs> Flawless King, let's go. I believe I dropped something, chat. <laughs> what right there? Ooh. 33. Okay. I wish I... Did I only get a couple of... I guess five jellyfish. I just need to not make anything with jellyfish until jellyfish day. Oh, thank you, chat. <laughs> um, I guess old James Voorhees up there has a 35 serving. No one else really does, though. But he has good appeal. So try to get a more eel real quick. I guess I'd rather get it done now while there's nothing chaotic happening at the restaurant. Thank you, Chad. It's so clumsy of me. Oh my god. Dude, what? This, the CT is dangerous at night. Stop it. Knife that fish, baby. Let's go. Oh, God. They keep trying to, like, fight me. Please. see an eel in here. Usually there's eels in these little crevasses. Still don't have gloves for picking up sea urchins, though. Are sea urchins hard to come by or hard to cook? Is that, like, something I should think about when I'm a better level? Where are the eels? Why is the pufferfish aggressive? Oh, and there's a shark. I'm scared. Where are the eels? I want my little eels. I don't think I have to go this deep to find eels, do I? Do they roam around freely at night? As opposed to hiding in those little corners? Ah! Why is everything more aggressive at night? I 
it has to be this deep. I think I just need to go more to the right. Not so much down. Right? I feel like normally we'd find them in like little corners and stuff. They don't attack me during the day. Why do they attack me now? I why aren't I finding any damn eels? Cat food. Ooh. Well, yeah, I understand the logistics of wanting the gloves in real life. I'm saying, like, in the game, like, I, I assumed I was already wearing them. And then I'm like, oh, should I think of that as more of a higher level thing? It's so, like one of the first things I tried to do is I'm like, oh, boy, a sea urchin. It's like, I need gloves. So I'm like, oh, oops. The gloves have not come up. Ooh. Oh, that's that jellyfish wants to fight. sea urchin can do. My mom's scared of sea urchins because my grandma stepped on one and the quills were like barbed, I guess. And it was like in her foot. She had to dissolve it in a bathtub of vinegar. So cut to a couple weeks ago, we were at a little aquarium tide pool thing and it was like one of those kitty like touch the tank and learn about the sea kind of moments and my mom was like too scared to touch it and like both the because like, I'm like mom you took me here all the time I guess it was mostly probably grandma grandpa but I'm like I, you guys took me here all the time when I was a little kid I've touched the shit out of these exact sea urchins in this exact tub like I don't think they've changed the tub my mom was just too scared Stop trying to give me kisses.
Stop. Stop hurting me. Stop hurting me. Got him. I couldn't find a single eel tonight, but I found friggin' sharks. I was really hoping I'd find an eel pretty quickly. For the story. What do we think in chat? Should we keep looking for an eel? Or should we go open the restaurant? Ah! What? Even at two? All the fish are trying to kill me. It's dangerous in the ocean at night. Oh, what's that? It's an indie horror movie. It's dangerous for a girl to walk alone at night. It's dangerous something. Dangerous something something at night oh god stop it you think you're better than me you think you're better than me yeah i'm not finding any eel boys someone's wondering why you don't hear the sounds of me stressfully smashing the shit out of my X button, I have the auto quick time event on. What? Well, I can't even interview them if I can't find them. Stop being ridiculous. We need to find them first. thought especially because it's like oh do it so you can learn about night diving i'm like oh cool i'll find one i'm like shit i can't find shit i've been attacked by everything else in this ocean except a freaking eel Give these upper little cavern things one little loop around before I arise, before I ascend. All those, those little schools of fish are trying to fight me. Back, you beast. <laughs> One of the fish is like all black with big white eyes. Hello, woodsman. <laughs> the lantern, woodsman. The lantern. Oh, now I find a good melee weapon. Well, damn. Yeah, usually they're like up here, right? I mean, we, if I, I mean, I'm out of, I can't think I can hold more stuff, but that's probably like the longest dive we've had. I got the shit knocked out of me by everything. Picking up a guy in the ocean, we'll grind a blue, 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 print, blue print. <laughs> Uh, I'm not talking too good. 
No, we've been down there longer by five seconds. Okay. Well, got you a bunch of jellyfish. All right. Oh, I can't do the store at night. Okay, bye. I love the art when you see the inside of the restaurant. I guess Voorhees over here. Yeah, because this guy, all this guy's stats are low. This guy, he has an 85 in cooking, though. But I can't even add someone to the kitchen if I wanted to. Oh, but he has a, oh, can I switch this? No, can I switch? Oh, would remove. There we go. Yeah, he has 85 cooking as opposed to 50. And yeah, he has better serving. So we're gonna put Voorhees in the kitchen. There we go. That's way better. Oh, are the bow ties because they're special for later? Okay. Um, what do we got? I want the music one. That one's my favorite. We like turns up his iPod. Merciful mother. <laughs> oh, it's it pays cheap, but it makes people happy, so that's good. Let's do 10 or 8. Is there a way for me to see how many I've had every time so I can like get a good estimation of like, well, like can I realistically sell 10 of one sushi in a night?
I know, I just need like five more yummy things. Don't give me a notification. Sir, we don't have that. Order something else. Or get out of that chair. You're ruining the economy with your selfishness. This is running a lot smoother now that I have more people <laughs> serving. Did we run out of sushi? What happened? I, I don't think I delivered a single plate. I was just cleaning and pouring tea. Oh, the pay goes up when you, oh, I mean, good. I'd rather it go well and pay a little more. I'd rather create jobs. Um. I have enough to level up my not Instagram. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't tell you like what you wasted. That's not it. Okay. I'm just nervous that I'm like not reading one of the stats right and I'm like throwing away food every time I open the restaurant. I guess it was also shorter because I cut into the night because I went night diving. Woo! I tried doing it alone, but it was too tough. I got a bit of help from Duff. Thanks to his help, we can now translate your words into the sea people's language as well. Wow, I'm curious to know what they have to say as well. I'll first make my I'll first make my way back to the sea people's location. Alright, <laughs> bye. I feel like everyone should be freaking out a little bit more at what we're about to do tonight. Huh? What is it? I've spent some quality time with Lee's Chan and did some quiet thinking. I realized that paying people back for help received was what a normal master would do. Tell me, Dave, are you satisfied with your guns? Uh, they're fine. It'd be nice if they were stronger, though. I guess it's time I stopped. I stepped into the spotlight, so to speak. I'll help you enhance your guns. Enhance them? How do you do that? It's about making them stronger than yesterday, or imbuing elements like poison or electricity. There's one thing you need to remember, though. Only guns that have been created can be enhanced. I speak at the risk of sounding obvious. Oh, I see. Gun enhancement. That sounds pretty useful. Duff, you're a cooler person than I thought. Well, what are you saying? I'm just trying to be the best master I can be for Lee's... Lee's Chan? Lee's Chan? I think I provide an adequate explanation. It's back to the world of the pixies for me. Goodbye, Eternity. You can now enhance your guns at Duff's Weapon Shop. Okay, that's good. Uh, see if I can do that right now. Or no? But I already have one. Can I not? Upgrade my biz? Oh, squared upgrade. I didn't even see that. I'm silly. Hmm. 6% fire damage in addition to gun based damage. Huh, okay. Oh, I need more fragments. Okay, well, good to know. See you. Oh, I forgot to feed the kitty. Oh, no. I don't know how. Don't look at me like that. I mean, maybe if people donated, we were members. <laughs> no, I genuinely forgot. <laughs> Because it hasn't, like, I think you have to go into the restaurant when it's not business hours. All right, cool. Let's do that right now. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh. 
look at my man sitting there thinking about how he's going to change the world with food today. You can't see it, but he's watching my videos and streams. There we go. Hmm. Maybe I should leave. Um, ooh, I have common in high quality. Look at the kitty! We feed it the kitty. Oh, and I could talk to everyone. Oh, thank you, kitty. Mm. If you keep on practicing, you can become a master. Okay. <laughs> Opening only for the evening, but I'm too late. I'm too exhausted at such a late hour. Can I talk to my favorite character? There we go. Are the ingredient preparations going well? Get the menus ready for the operating hours. Yes, sir. Can only be fed once per day. Whoa. Okay. Well, now we learned how to feed the kitties. Keep an eye out for jellyfish, chat. <laughs> that was terrifying. <laughs> a huge trevally with a silver body and many small back spots all over its body. It has been measured at 150 sin. It's found in broad areas of tropical and subtropical oceans and feeds on other fish, capillopods, or crustaceans. Capillopods? Kep capillopods. Link. You can now disassemble guns, harpoon tips, and other weapons. There we go. Well, not that. That's a level up kit. Okay, cool. I'm like, I'm surprised how many I would need, but I'm also like, I'm not scavenging for many scraps because I don't know what they were for. Damn it. I wasn't sure if I had one of these yet. For my encyclopedia. I was right. We shouldn't need to gather that salt. I think go outside, there's the salt. It's in the water. Oh, you don't want to fight me now? 
Savannah, you scared? Bill, it's a barracuda. I can't understand you. It knows what it did. Boink. Oh my god, what? It's not entirely clear whether this is suitable as a weapon, but try swinging it anyway. Just do it. It says it does 10 damage. <laughs> it one shots everything. I don't know how to fight that. Now. Is this something people really do, or is this just a little thing for the game? Like shining like a UV light makes things move? Wow. I'm asking so I can learn things. Ooh. Let's try out the Sea People Translator from Dr. Bacon and see how it works. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, what? How is a human speaking our language? An interesting creature, his body looks different from that of the humans we occasionally see. Well, in any case, right, I should introduce myself. My name is So... 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 Sawan. Among us low dwellers, who oh, you said you call us sea people, right? You could say I'm the bravest and coolest male among them. I'm basically king of the sea. Sawam, nice to meet you. I'm Dave. Yeah, Dave in our language, your name sounds very s similar to broken toilet lid. What is with this creature? In any case, the person lying here is the daughter of the Sea People Village Chief, Ramo. Ever since being kidnapped by that stupid giant squid, she has been unconscious. If I'd known about it a little earlier, I'd have shown that squid a thing or two. But don't get a big head for defeating that insignificant squid, human. I am the one that guards Ramo. Really are a noisy one. In any case, he's... Oh, I nailed this voice then. In any case, you seem to have something to say. What is it? Oh, about that. In order to allow Ramo to recover, we need some medicinal herbs. 422 blazes. Earth Day, yeah. For, Cause, well, 420, that's the code. When cops would call in marijuana related crimes, they'd say, we got a four, code 420, or we got a 420. And then people were like, you know, fuck the cops and the system. 420 is now being taken by the weed community. That's where we get the phrase. Unless I'm mistaken. Chat, correct me if I'm mistaken. But yeah, 420 to 422. It's all about the earth, baby. I'm unable to leave as I must stay and look after her. Human, you must acquire some medicinal herbs. That icky sticky to help Ramo recover. The feather coral and lily coral grow in these parts. Please make them edible and bring them to me. Make them edible, how do I do that? That's for you to figure out, human. Go find a chef to help you. Is this Dave the Diver or not? Uh, she's ill, so I can't refuse to help her. Feather coral and lily coral, huh? Guess I'll take a look around first.
Well, that's fun. Now I need two types of coral. So let's do that. That's rope. This is a button. That's glass. All I'm finding is human trash. Oh god, not you. have to like snatch it with the harpoon mid mid attack So, I wonder what you can make with this. Perhaps a jam? Is that a giant oarfish? Mm. I take a picture with the blue plankton next to it. That could make a pretty nice picture. Mess it up. And, well, next time I'll ask its permission, huh? It's in there. Does it have to be in, like, the dead center of the picture? Oh, my God. I'm going to die down here trying to get a Pokemon snap. Okay, well, now I understand how to do it. So let's try to get the... No, come back. I read about you, and now I must have you for my collection. My collection. Oh, God. Gimme. beast that doesn't look like a comb huh is this a sea people building the door is locked
Ugh. Ugh. I'm over encumbered and I'm electrocuted. This is the worst. Got little feet. I know it's the fins, but ah! Stop trying to kiss me. The sharks will get angry. Ah, it was a shark. Should I leave? I got like half a tank and no extra oxygen. I'm assuming I won't just ditch the quest item once I resurface. Oh, thank God. I'm like, please tell me I'm remembering right. And there's, there's an escape pod down here. Gamers, we having a good time? Woo. We believe in magic. Okay. We save in the rainforest and the ocean. Did we poggers the planet into safety? Pog pop that plan. <laughs> the real platinum trophy would be if we stopped treating the planet like crap. Uh, seems I got everything that fussy, fussy halfish. Oh, right, because the guy was like, uh, speak with the sea people. He wanted me to make this. Oh, right. I have to ask Poncho for help. Treat Ramo. Okay. Cool. I got all the stuff I got. Uh, ah, oh, you brought a picture or something. I cannot see. That's a giant oar fish. I heard the fish was. I heard the fish was referred to as a god in the ancient times. It really is huge. Should I have caught it? I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. Ooh, I got like 200 bucks. There are photo spots all over the place. Thank you for your help. Keep up the good work. He liked my picture too. <laughs> Shop. I wanted to sell my little. I have like so many of these silver bowls. Let's go. Like that. And then. Yay! should also what I still need best taste oh, I guess I don't understand what that is now best taste like at once like one item getting a taste score of 125 damn all right I don't have enough fragments for that. Why is that? Oh, because I could do. Got it. Uh, uh, I feel like. I feel 
think first I should the stuff, because stuff is what's been screwing me more than anything else. Let's do hold more stuff and then we'll do air. Uh, okay. Oh no, I forgot to ask him to cook a dish. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, I'm so dumb. Chat, just abandon me now. I get it if you will. Oh, I'm such a dingus. Oh, I'm not a pro gamer at all. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what the opposite of a pro gamer is. A noob? Chat, do people still say noob? One Rizzler to another. Yeah, there's the eel in the daytime. Ooh, a loggerhead turtle. Picture that turtle was a must have sea picture. All right, tattoo thing. What's that? A turtle. It's like a jellyfish. Turtle. Where? Oh, there he is. Oh, and I got the... Oh, and he was eating the jellyfish! First try, Poggers, let's go. Look at the little boy! I needed that jellyfish for my restaurant stuff, but... Oh, look at him go! I love him. Right, too bad I screwed up and doped when I shouldn't have. Divined. Uh, I guess I can look for more jellyfish for the jellyfish festival. Guys, we have to cancel the jellyfish festival. Um, there's no more jellyfish. Some asshole kept thinking he needed a bunch for this festival. And now we've run out. Let us never forget this day. It's just me sweating with, like, three crates of jellyfish under my arms. I'm really mad. I screwed up. Jellyfish! Hooray! SpongeBob who? This is how you go jellyfishing. I still don't think that's the one I used for the recipe. I think the one you needed for that big recipe was like spotted, wasn't it, or something like that? his little smoochies. He got his little smoochies. And now of all the smoochies he wants in shark heaven. 
whatever you do, please don't make me into soup. I got bad news for you, buddy. No. I think those are the spotted ones, too. Sounds good. Yep. And sea grapes. It's almost like this was a early game quest line, so the ingredients can be found pretty close to each other. Dave, we need more jellyfish to make our jellyfish sushi. On it, grabs a bat. At least I found a bunch of jellyfish this time. Ah! Jesus Christ, that laser sight? Do you really need that? Ow! Calm down. I'm not here to hurt you. I don't care what your friends say. I'm not here to hurt you. Yeah, I missed. Trying to gaslight the pufferfish. Boop. Let's harvest some more grapes. Alright, hopefully I can find an escape pod. so cute. I'm sorry. Fishing. Swinging away. Fishing. Just like when my grandpa used to take me out on the lake as a boy. Here's your bat. Yeah, look at him. He's reading now. He's 
he's getting more and more like acquainted with the process and he's enjoying it more. That's so cool. I like that. Because first it was like decompressing and he's like, eh, eh. and I'm like, yeah, no, that sounds terrifying. My lungs would probably explode. And like, yeah, he's just slowly getting more and more uh, acquainted with it. I love that. Ah, oh, you brought a picture of something. Can I see? Ooh, a loggerhead turtle. As a child, I dreamed of exploring the waters on the back of a turtle. Of course, I would drown myself if I really tried that. I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. 200 bucks. There are photo spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. photo spots. Love it. Yeah. Oh, thanks, buddy. I do not have a lot of money. Sushi, please. I wonder how long this chapter is. Another reason why I'm mad. I'm like, man, we were doing real good with, like, doing a couple story things, serving up the sushi. Uh-oh. Huh? Little kid, we haven't opened yet. Look at the little guy. Hello, kid? Uh, you look like a student. We haven't opened yet. Come back a little later. Oh my god. Look at it. Uh... uh listen, you... <laughs> I heard you the one time. Stop babbling! Wh what in the world? I'm, I'm sorry, it wasn't me. You rotten blowfish, you! Get me food! Food! Um, what in the world is going on here? I think I've read about this somewhere. There's a therapy method that involves letting traumatized kids speak through speak their mind through dolls. Doll, how dare you! You idiots don't deserve to live! I, uh, I suppose it could be something more complicated. Uh, let me ask what she wants first. Kombu and white trevle. Oh my, I'm sorry. Kombu and white trevally. Ozuki. I want it. I do. Uh, that sounds like something older men would would want. I don't know what's going on, but I have to give her what she wants for us to try and have a conversation. Kombu and white trevally. Oh, let's check the ingredients first. I don't know how to say it, so instantly tells me we're a little screwed. Do I have the recipe for that? Menu needs to be added. Do I have it though? I have the ingredients for it. Sea grape jelly for sushi. I mean, we're definitely doing this. I need money. Um, what was that? Mm, tiger shark, clownfish, long spine squirrel. White trebly combo. There we go. I don't think we got that one yet.
Oh, a single piece needs to have 125. So let's see if I can level this up one more time. Whoop that, 130. Oh, but I need more long spine. Fuck. That my I think that's my highest yummy boy. Okay, so I need more stuff for sure. Hired properly. Oh, let's give her. Yeah. What? What happened to my kelp? I, I can't make it now. Or is it on the? There we go. It's just on the menu. Okay. I was like, no, my kelp. dollars for that kind of therapy you're welcome you're welcome huh why are you crying suddenly it's too good you be <laughs> this is way too good damn it it's too good it reminds me of my father w what's going on kid my name is maki i'm looking for my father my father left to explore the depths and i can't get in touch with him anymore his favorite food was kombu and white travel sorry and I hear you sell it here. I thought he might have come by here. That's a pity. Uh, I'll be sure to tell you if we see someone that looks like your father. And what's that doll? This is Cleone. This is a Cleone plushie. Cleone plushie? My father gave it to me before he left. Oh, I have a favor to ask. It's about the Cleone. I've never seen one in person. Could you catch one for me? Huh? A Cleone? I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Uh, we can't catch something so small with a harpoon. What do we do? Ooh, we got a net. It took us this long to think of net. Could we use this? Oh, a bug net? Uh, I think it might work. All right, I'll give it a shot. What are you doing, you walrus? Go get your tights on and jump in the water. I'm so sorry. I can't control my emotions that well yet. That's okay. Feel better. Capture small creatures. You cannot use the bug net to capture small creatures like seahorses and cleone, which can't be caught with a harpoon. Okay. Sick. Wow, we're still unlocking stuff. Twenty-five yummy items, so I can upgrade my my cooks to. Whoa! Let's go. Twenty-two seventy-seven. Can we get a pocket chat? Can we get a nice and chat? That's the new sex number on the internet. I've decided it's twenty-two seventy-seven.
trying to think of what a 2277 would be. It's a lot of cuddling. There we go, 2277, the sex number for everyone. Parents, are you tired of your kids saying 69? Wish they would say something else instead. 2277 is the crud, dang, or shoot of internet funny numbers. Um, ooh, I can upgrade my stuff. Hell yeah. Right? Yeah, I still need to make it the best taste. Look at the little guy! That was sweet. And I liked kind of giving room for someone who needs or benefits, I guess would be the better word, but like from a little little understanding, little 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 patience. I don't do this for the points. I do it because I know I'm helping the environment. to go back to the sushi. It's it, the date is uh, February 7th and July 2nd. Let's go. Okay, let's ask our man here. Our bestest friend slash possible lover hmm, so this is this coral has to be prepared so it's easy to eat for sea people well i think we could start with a porridge of sorts give me a moment if anyone could do it it's you king oh my god Here you go. I softened the coral to make it easy to eat, so it should be fine. Wow, thank you, Boncho. You're so quick. All right, let's take this to Raymo. And feed the kitty. Oh, look at him go. Kitty. Uh, yeah, what do I need to make my... I need long spine squirrel fish. What were those? I was catching a bunch of crap. Wow, we're still unlocking things you like tools and like we just got the net so we can catch the little things. That's crazy. I hesitated. I've lost faith in myself. Blue body and two protruding fangs. Vampire triggerfish. But he looks so cute and silly. It looks like his tongue sticking out in the pixel model. Just mm. <laughs> like do you see it? Like the little red tooth corner. It looks like he's like <laughs> I get cotton candy because I was good at the dentist. <laughs> he just looks excited. How do I use the thing? Ooh, that's good seed. How do I use the the net? Did I have to equip it before I left? It didn't tell me how, or if it did, I forgot. <laughs>
upgrade me, baby. Damn it. Bro, face your enemy. Do we have to play the song from Steven Universe again about how to sword fight? Ah! But, God, kill, kill. Good, good. Oh, you just have it. Okay. Ooh, I got a shrimp. Delicious. Finally, some good fucking shrimp. I'll see you, Polyphonica. Enjoy your pasta. fighting a shark, but I think I'll do okay. Oh, come on. These are things I need? I don't think so. I don't think I've caught these. Coral trout. No, that's not what I need. I'm trying to focus on the sea people story more than the restaurant stuff right now, but I don't know if that's correct. Yeah, and also, I love it. Please stop. Oh my god. It's just a little guy. And it's kicking my ass. Holy poop. This is going to be a pickaxe, so I want to. Collect the amethyst crystals. Which I'll be honest, I don't think I do right now because I don't want to get beat up. I brought you porridge. I brought some coral porridge. 
Oh ho, you really brought it, Sniff. Seems to be right. Rommel, this is coral porridge. I prepared it myself. So, do I get a kiss? Oh, I feel much better now. I can't remember anything after seeing squid tentacles. Huh? A human? What is a human doing here? Uh, well, y you could say I saved you. I defeated the giant squid and brushed the coral porridge. Hmm, is that so? Wait, Ramo, that's not it. I'm actually the one who- All right then, human. You shall escort me back to my village. Me? Why should I? I'm an injured lady. You need to keep anything dangerous from happening. Ramo, I can escort you to so I'm <laughs> You go ahead and scout our path. What? What? How could you let a human escort you? I can keep you safe and... You haven't even passed the village tactics exam. It was tough enough coming here. Ah, uh, that's a sore spot for me. That's something I'm sensitive about. So I'm... Stop complaining and be our lookout for the path ahead. As for you, human, you'll have to carry me on your back. On my back? It's hard enough to move around as it is down here. Oh, my injured... Oh, dear, I must be a little drunk. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> my injured fin is hurting again. You're impossible. I'll take you to the village no further. Oh, my God. Chad, am I going to want them to kiss by the end of this? Would their children be one quarter fish? Con I'm going to use my internet influence to get all the top scientists in the world together to answer this question for me. Carry me on your back. Get to the target location safely with Ramo on your back. Ramo has the ability to open up two burn paths. Watch your surroundings carefully to escort her safely. Cool. What if I die? Oh, I bet it was that village I found by accident when I was just wandering around. Oh, cool. Oh, she really does. Is it the power of our love? No, it's my scent. I excrete to find mucus. Hold on. Side quest. Right. We can proceed. Oh, I can't boost like this. Boo. Boo, no boosting. Good follow along. Make sure Ramo isn't hurt. He's just pissing and all the sea things are like, ah. Keep those pesky sea worms away from you with Ag's body spray. Not this way, human. Let's go follow Swam. Okay. Well, shit. Oh, I see him. He's in the corner. I'm like, he's not on my screen anymore. Yes, he is. Oh, dear. What is this vibration? It's rare to experience one so strong. It's kind of hot. Did something happen to the village? We must return quick. Hurry, human. Well, let's stop lollygagging and bullshitting. Oh, no, there's a shark. Uh, you're going to stay down here. I'm going to see what's in this. Splendid. Oh my god. That's dope. I love how different everything is. There's a crab. Oh, there's a big boy crab down there. You believe me, don't you, chat? You see it, right? Oh god.
Stop touching me. No. Oh, restart. Oh, because I'm in the middle of the mission? Yeah. Oh, thank God. Poggers, let's go. That didn't count. No damage or death still on. Nah, I failed a couple times playing this game. Oh, did I forget that I even had the item? Oh, that's embarrassing. I don't think it was going to help me, honestly. Jeez. Oh, Stay here. Oh. Uh, that crab does not allow damage to happen to it. Hello? Alrighty then. Ah! Oh my god. That fish is like, dude, you started this, not me. You're on your own. Oh, that was a lot easier that time. Was I that close to killing it, just didn't realize it? It's embarrassing. Now, how do I kill the crab? I thought it was maybe the head. Do I just need a different weapon, I guess? Hi, don't worry about me. Oh, maybe. That'd be kind of cool. That is not the key. All right, let's go. Whatever it is, I don't know how, or I don't have the equipment yet. I wish I could boost while I was carrying her, but okay, that's fine. Oh, the crab feels left out. I'm sorry, crab, but you get to live. Please, I must go to Crab Valhalla. <laughs> hey now, human, don't tell me you're tired already. Bring her carefully. Connor! Connor! It's hard to do it today. My voice is a little tired. Ooh, cool jellyfish. Mind if I shoot it? Oh, God. Okay, well, it mines. It mines being shot at. Oh, God. It explodes. Oh, I'm in hell. This is a nightmare. Um, all right. I don't want to find out if that thing's hostile before I heal, so let's heal, and let's find out what these things do. Alright. Oh. Ow. Oh, it poisoned me. Oh, it poisoned me. Oh, my lights are flickering. Oh, and she's attack- Oh, don't attack her. Attack me. Take me. I'm the one you want. Ah! Thank God. Uh, Rhino. Okay, well, I can't do that that fast. Please calm down. Where's my dying mermaid girlfriend? Here you are. Hi. So sorry about that. Wait here. 
need stuff. Y'all know what stuff is, right? Oh no, he's guarding it. Got that. Oh, get away from me. Ow, no. What the hell? A grenade launcher? Sick. If I wasn't so low on health, I'd test the grenade launcher on the crab. No, not these. They're scary. Oh, thank God. Oh, I'm going to need oxygen soon. Oh, I'm getting nervous. Oxygen. Hold still. You wouldn't get this. It's an addiction, all right? Canned air just for me. <sighs> Are we there yet? Ramo, this our path is in his. Our path in is blocked with rock. A rock block. Oh no, what's going on? Uh, it must have been from the vibrations earlier. Swamp, think of something. I need to get back quick before my father scolds me even more. Um, hmm. Maybe we could open up a path by dropping the loose rock pile over there. If we could topple it and make it fall, it might just do the trick. Hmm, suppose it might work. How do we make the rocks fall, though? Hmm, I see a stake over there. Maybe if we pull it out? Human, can you pull out that stake over there? Stake? Uh, I think it'll hurt my hands with the gloves I'm wearing. Oh, am I going to get sea urchin gloves now, finally? I could probably do it with gloves that are thicker and offer a better grip. <laughs> Dave, my apologies. I left the microphone on because I was dying to know what you were talking about. I'm listening here. If it's enhanced diving gloves you need, I think my lab could help you out. Huh, new gloves? Haha, <laughs> equipment goes hand in hand with exploration, does it not? Come on up to the boat. <laughs> I think there may be a way. Could you wait here for a moment? Hold it, human. You plan to leave Ramo in a dangerous place like this? Luckily, she has me guarding her. Still be back quick. I'd be able to get back faster if maybe I had a little smooch. I think the path to village is blocked. Hurry up and do something. Okay. All right. Can I just use my harpoon to? It's fine. I need the gloves. You see, now I'm cleaning my goggles instead of like breathing hard and putting my head between my legs. Oh. I'm assuming getting into the the city will end this chapter, right? How many chapters are there? Seven. There's seven chapters? This isn't going to be seven streams. Uh, Dr. Big. Mm, the road back to the Sea People Village, huh? How fascinating. My lab has developed some diving gloves to be used for retrieving artifacts. I see. Uh, that should let me pull out a stake without my hand slipping, right? Of course. It has, ver it has various safety meshes built in that'll let you move many other objects besides stakes. The long dive must have been... The long dive must have been tiring. Get some rest. I'll explain the details tomorrow. I'll come to the boat tomorrow morning. But she's going to get in trouble with her father. Oh, I didn't get to use the grenade launcher. What a bummer. F in the chat. Still got some good stuff. Hmm. Hmm. I 
just the standard one. 35. Yeah, and everything else has like a little bit of something else. Yeah, I'll just do the standard. So I just... I'd like to start things with the... Oh my god. He's testing it. No, the shark! Oh my god. Oh, that's crazy. So now whenever I dive, I start with a level two gun. I'm assuming. A hoop. Uh, I guess I'm diving again. Those animations are so fun. A black fish with a large jaw and sharp teeth. Its body tapers off towards its tail and is measured at around 16 sm. It lives at depths of 200 hmm or greater and feeds on zooplankton, squid, and deep sea fish. You can contact people through your phone app if you have their number. Or you can just guess it. Try it 605309. I dare you. Don't. It's someone's actual phone number. Despite it being a popular 80s song. Was the fi is the fish that I'm I was trying to upgrade to get enough taste? Is that the one that was in like little swarms? I can't catch it. I guess it's still level one. It's just permanently upgraded. Okay, well, that's good. I guess I could try to get some shark meat and make my shark dishes. 125 yummies. didn't notice how big the chain got. Oh, it's because of the upgrade. I'm stupid. I was like, whoa, when did I upgrade my harpoon that much? Wow, it took 
three shots that time. Man, I guess I'll just try to get as many early level sharks as I can because they're pretty memorable to catch. And just try to upgrade it to the recipe. Enhance, I guess. bad shooting the fish. <laughs> I thought there was another shark down here. Oh, yep, there it is. Ah! No shark, no kisses. Kuda, get away from me. Uh, I don't see any extra oxygen down here, do you? I don't know why the shark's being so aggressive. Help. Ah, jeez. Out of ammo, though. Huh? So they don't snap at you? Like third graders? Oh, it's just one. Okay. Harvest. 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 Get me the hell out of here. Go, 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 go. Cozy. Cozy. This is cozy. Cozy, this is cozy. Now we have enough time. Oh my god. That upgraded gun saved my ass. I've decided shark meat is going to be my specialty because it's easy to remember. <laughs> well, I think that's a shark. Oh dear. Oh yeah, he's gonna give me gloves tomorrow. I was like, what am I waiting for again? Ugh. Is the restaurant stuff tied to the story quests or is that just fun? That's the thing, Like, I love doing the restaurant stuff though. Twenty-two, twenty-nine, thirty, fifty-four, fifty-eight. 22, 23, 24, 58. Enhancing the range to 87. This is the thing I need to upgrade to 130. Do you have anything else that's high? 58. Uh, 40. Oh, 100. There we go. It's never the music one, and uh, it makes me sad. All right. Oh, but now I don't have enough meat to serve it. Fuck me. Cool. Thanks. So I need more of the big silver boys.
Damn it. And that's easy to remember too, though. much more complicated now that I know more of the like finer points of the mechanics and stuff. It's crazy. Take, I get so much more thought is put into it now. It's crazy. <sighs> yeah, at least the music's good. No, I haven't found any Mora eels. Mora. Mora. Stop bringing people sushi and just start waiting for beverage talks. Thing, I got. I thought I could stop midway and pour the dude's beer, but nope. Wait, what? I was waiting for it to fill. Ugh. I still don't know how to do that. I was kind of getting a feel for it, like I did with the tea. I'm sorry, Boncho. I don't know how to pour beer with a PlayStation controller. I could do it with a real <laughs> fucking Stein. I guess I'll just have to trust my my wait staff to dish out the food. I'll just focus on the drinks and the wasabi. Okay. Drink and wasabi while you wait. <laughs> wasabi in your beer? <laughs> wasabi, 
I bet a wasabi, a little wasabi and a uh, Bloody Mary would be good. That little horseradish taste. Jellyfish party. Here are those special diving gloves made in our research facility. With these, you'll be able to pick up various objects in the water. Why don't you test them out yourself? Enjoy the water. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're fucking gloves, man. Calm down. But, like, yeah, thanks, I guess. Yellow tang. It's a click kick in the glass. And the pouch. Did you ever have tang? My mom would not let us have tang. Um... Don't you remember, like, Tang was one of those foods where it's like, oh, you can use this to clean your dishwasher? Like, there was something in Coca-Cola that lets you, like, clean rust off of nails. Objects that can be picked up will show a button when you go near them. First try grabbing that pile of rocks over there. That's weak wood, so you should be able to break through. Oh, that's got way more. Complicated. Oh, drop on the... Wow, okay. Wow, very nice. Let's try going down. The diving stuff just got way more complicated. Or not complicated, but like complex. There's more layers to it. Oh my god. Uh, can we do something about that? Current strong. Grab that anchor so it won't sweep you away. Ooh. Help. Good, you grab onto objects like the like that anchor to, like like that to anchor yourself. Oh, okay, that was confusing because it was an actual anchor. Oh, I see something shiny back there. Grab that stake in front of you and pull. Yeah, no, I, I got it, but that's cool. Oh, Fuck. meh, 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 meh. Cool. Awesome. Since that path is open, grab that treasure up top for coming up. It's a silver bowl. All right, see you in the boat. You wasted a whole morning. Oh, wasabi beer is a thing? Like, I'll just mix wasabi in this beer, or like a beer made with wasabi, like, infused in the process? Hmm. Well, I figured, but yeah. Uh, looks like your bacon left abruptly. I Looks like Dr. Bacon left abruptly again after finishing his explanation. In any case, these diving gloves look like they could come in very handy. I heard that the sea people are waiting for you. Get down there and try and pull out that steak. Don't tell me what to do. But yeah, I should go help them. Um, damn, I can't do shit. The harpoon gun? I feel like I should wait so I can... These I'll need to upgrade real bad. Okay, we'll just wait. Okay. Wee. A mackerel scad, a fish with bluish green fins, a white belly, and black spots above its gills. It has a long body and has been measured at around 46 centimeters. It lives in groups of 20 to two, or 200 mm, in subtropical waters. Picking up a gun in the ocean will grant you a blueprint. <laughs> Oh good, there is a little indicator, but I'm like, I'm gonna have to go all the way back down there. jellyfish because it's faster uh i kind of feel awful <laughs> like every time i started doing it i've just been disassociating now Ooh, can i grab them yay 
I should be able to pick up sea urchins. Sea urchin just thought that it makes me drool. Yay. We got some stuff. I've never had sea urchin. I don't, I've never been against it. I just don't think I've ever been to a sushi place that's had it. Or I guess seafood place, but yeah. Right, that's sushi. I don't know why I wondered if it was something slightly different. It's like a trampoline. Like, I don't know why I looked at it and went, oh no, some child had a horrible summer. Uh... Why are there bully fish in this ocean? I'm just trying to save the sea people, and then all these fish are like, we're going to beat you up. And then I catch them, and then people are like, how dare you? It's always self-defense, right, everybody? Yoink. Oh. It always feels good when you start to learn the controls for a game that you're not that accustomed to, that it's like, switch to the gun, turn around, shoot, kill, I'm like, yeah. And by kill, I mean enforce a nap upon the shark, right? Um, see, I'm also picking glass up off the ground so they don't hurt the little feet. I'm not a predator. Take that back. I did not get the trophy predator of the blue hole. I'm a good boy. What is this? Oops. Please, please let it be over. These fish just don't want me to kill it. I don't understand why. Wouldn't it make you happy? Bill, it's concerning the lies you tell yourself when you're, when you're in a mild sense of duress.
big boy. He's like a little ghosty boy. That was cute. Did I just see a huge Sleone? I don't. What are those called? I've never seen that before. That's embarrassing for me. People look up to me in chat. They're like, he's a perfect, flawless king. Everything he says is clearly true, and I don't need to do any research. Got him. Ah, oh, should I go back up now? No, don't. We're still doing the main mission. Oh my god, look at the big boy. Oh, it's a big boy. Alright, well now I'm in its anus mouth. Okay, bye. If I had known it was going to do that, I would have done the little collectathon thing. It sent me back to the surface. I was... What? <sighs> oh no, I'm in I'm in its anus. What is this place? Hi. Oh no, that's such a big thing. Oh my god. Oh, it's a boss. Oh shit. At least we get the banger music. Uh, I probably won't get away without a fight. Whatever, let's defeat it first. Oh God. No, oh, my butthole. That kid sent me on a mission that took me to an anus creature's dungeon. Whew, what a monster. It still stings. Let me see if there's anything useful to pick up. Oh, I see something shiny over there. I should go have a look. Oh, did it eat her? Did it eat the kid's parents? Or was it her father? Huh? A photo of Maki? I'll have to take it back up. Well, that was unexpected. Collect me five little guys with a net. I did not think that was going to turn into, here's a secret little boss. But here we are. At least the boss music still slaps. It slaps fire. It bangs as it slaps fire. Oh, good, I'm back where I was. Ah, what? Oh, wrong button. I'm like, why can't I do the thing? Wrong button again. Here we go. Ooh, that's a big... Hi.
Huh, is that pile of rocks moving around? Oh, am I gonna learn how to fight crabs now? It's my octopus boy! Hi! Best friend, come back! <laughs> it looks so at peace. Uh, it's the octopus from last time. It's spring ink again. I won't let it get away. Just wait. Octopus returns. Oh, do I need to do two? Path's clear. Just you wait, Octopus. Alexander Octopus. Just you wait. No. Are we over the Hamilton references? Hey, how dare you spray ink twice? I won't let you get away with this. Ask Boncho for takoyaki. Oh my god. He's just a little guy. God, ran away again. It's definitely quick. Hmm, they dropped something again. It always leaves something behind. It might not be as bad as I thought. Yeah, they're just as, like almost as intelligent as us. It seems to be an artifact. I'll identify it at the surface. Octopus returns. Uh huh. Uh, he's this way now. Little guy. Oh, cool. Now I'm on the other side of it. God damn it. I can't harvest those. air tank from the clams and I keep littering these underwater scooters all over the ocean floor oh you're back human I was afraid you'd be eaten by a pale charger on the way back she talks like someone I know I think I'll be able to pull out the steak if I use the diving gloves from Dr. Bacon who lives oh. on land Bacon, <laughs> in our language, that sounds like spoiled well meat. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute, let me try and pull. Some of your words sound kind of funny to us, but I'm being polite. Anyway. Um. No. Okay. Okay. Oopsie diesel. Are you sure you want to do this, Dave? You seem a little over encumbered. Shh, I got this. Give it a big old smooch. Hello? Oh, I got him. Got it. I saved the sea people. Bye bye. Or not. That was effective, but not enough. Uh, I think one more attempt might cut it. Human, there's another rock pile over there. Uh, there's no movable device over here. I'll have to go check it out first. Damn it. I thought I was done. I'm so over encumbered. Oh, good. Ammunition. That's a, that's a fine, peaceful sign of things to come. There's nothing I, that can be done on this side. I'll have to try going around back. Ah. 
Be nice to me, I'm new. Cookie cutter shirt. That's a cute name. Can't hold any more stuff. Leave me be. Leave me be. Oh, sweet, merciful, see Jesus, sees us. Eh. Eh. You ever wonder if like it gets sweaty in a scuba suit this long? I've never worn a wetsuit before, let alone scuba dive, so I, I'm genuinely asking this question. Oh, please don't explode next to me. I'm just a little boy. Oh, God. Nah. Yeah, I definitely can't lift anything up. Okay. That's fine. What's this? Okay. Find out what that is next time. It needs a pickaxe, and I can't hold things anymore. Dick, be nice to me. All right, fuck you. There's a stake in the back. If I pull that out. Hooray! done the end wow human good we have a path uh you're more useful than you look the village is very close come into the hole you just made i'll go ahead <clears throat> that's kind of hot uh wait i can leave now can i would you listen to yourself aren't you worried for ramo besides i have a request for you so i'd like you to come to the village with us the sea people village me yes there's a reason I came all the way up to the human sea. I have a request. Okay. Make me some sushi. Oh my god. <laughs> you found the right guy. Anyway. This will help. Hey guys. Oh, I'm getting real spooky vibes. Ah, shit. I can barely move. Thank God I leveled up my gun. Oh, it's a big boy with a Mountain Dew tail. Something just moved past me. Human. Go out ahead and be our lookout. But it's so dang dark. I feel like there might be something dangerous there. Uh, I'm sweating in the water. Uh, yes, I'm fine with this. Once the event ends, I'll be back on the boat. That works out for me. I can barely move. I'm over cucumbered. Too many cucumbers in my bag. Deep sea cave. What is this? Why is there debris like this so deep? Wow, look at the big boy. Oh, I love his little tail. Okay, anyway. 
Oh no, those vibrations again. Something has to be here. Why are you telling me to come alone? So set up. Oh, look at him. Wolf eel. Inside of you are two eels is fighting. Well, what? Is, those, those, there are wolf eels that big? I don't think I could run. Ah, oh, whatever. Ah, uh, no, I can't hold on to the thing if I'm not in a pos- Ah. Uh. That's the way Okay, that's fine. Oh my god. Oh. Stop beating me up. I can't move. You're super big. Oh, it looks really tough. Ah, oh, the shining spot on its tail it looks weaker than the rest of its body. Oh, good to know. Well, I don't need that. What a waste. No, I wasn't given an opportunity to grab the things. Oh my god. Ow. Oh my god, it just beats me up. That's all it likes to do is beat me up. What did I do? Uh. Is there anything I could like easily get like comfortably get rid of? I need all this fish. Uh No, ah, I moved too slow. No. There we go. I'm like, it can't be that hard. Here we go. It's my fault for being so over encumbered before two boss fights. We did it. First try. Uh, how can a wolf eel be so big? Ahem. I was just about to come and defeat it. I guess I came too late. Is that a thing? Coming late? Haha. <laughs> You're stronger than I expected, human. Now, you see that big gate over there? There's the entrance to the village. Take the lead, human. Dance with me. What? Okay, uh... Hmm. 
Phew, we're finally back to the village entrance passageway. Raymo, you have a key, right? Oh no, I left the key back at the chest. Kidding, I have it here in my bag. Uh, this chapter's done, don't worry. Whew. I thought you would ask me to take you again. Let's insert the key and get back to the village. It's a kiss. The key is my tongue. We all have to make out now. Why are we whispering? I don't know. Ooh, that's pretty. They just start fucking with him. Oh, in mermaid culture, before you walk through a door, you have to touch your tongue to the ground. You did bring the ritualistic ceremony sandwich, didn't you? Otherwise, you will be instantly executed. Ooh. Sea People Village. That's dope. Whoa, so this is... That's right. This is the Sea People Village we live in. To think there would be a place like this under Dussy. What? Ah, oh, come on. Wait, how hard did a how how did a human get in here? Huh, Rainbow Sawam, were you kidnapped by this human? Tenzin awaits you, <laughs> Master Tenzin. Uh, J.K. Simmons, he's lost sleep worrying about you. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> Allow me. I rescued Rainbow after she was kidnapped by a squid. Forget it. Just take me to my father. It'd be faster for me to explain things to him. He has really good listening skills. I thought he was going to throw up. <sighs> this is surprisingly, like, intricate and... Like, there's a lot of story there, and I was not expecting that. Undersea Civilization. And Tenzin's house. Da, 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 da. Oh. oh, she's not. Uh, oh my goodness, Rabo, my daughter. Where were you, my precious girl? Your daddy, your daddy was worried out of his wits. Are you hurt? Did the humans do anything to you, my daughter? Wait, who is this next to you? I thought you brought a blue manatee, but this is a human. Now I'm gonna fuck your dad. What's going on here? I'd like an explanation. You know that strange thing that's been happening around here recently, right? For example, the tremors and the ice melting off the divine tree? Of course, Rainbow, I've been looking into the causes. It's already been two years. You know our technology has its limits. Well, well, the ancient texts have all been lost and we need to figure out new methods again. I can't simply keep waiting, Father. Humans are selfish, but they have good technology. We need their help. No, not the humans. They can't be trusted. They dirtied our home and even hunted our kind to put on display. They're wicked creatures looking to hunt us and steal from us. We can't ally with the likes of... No one will understand the, the tiny little middle finger that is, but... That is a tiny little middle finger to, um... Uh, soundtrack I didn't enjoy, I made a video about, no one watched the video, and everyone threw a tantrum that I made a video about it, so I took it down. Um, another huge tremor. See, something really bad will happen if we don't do anything. I'm like, why did I say ally wrong? I forgot that it's in a soundtrack for a major motion picture that released recently. And they say it weird. A lie. That's not, that's not it. Um, hmm. When I was taken by the giant squid in human waters, Dave here helped me out. He's my hero. Swamp City was the one who Try asking him. Not all humans can be bad, can they? I beat. Don't make me the representative. Even if I wanted this, the villagers would not agree. Getting help from humans? Everyone would find that hard to believe. If this man can gain the village's trust, I'll consider your suggestion. Um, the village's trust. How does he go about winning that? He must ask for the heart of the cards. How about asking around to see what they need? All right, since today's long trip must have been pretty tiring. Human, come back here tomorrow. You'll have to listen to the villagers' requests. 
Wait, I didn't even agree yet. How am I supposed to come all the way here? Chapter 3, a request from the sea people. Hmm. Since you say you helped my daughter, Raymo, I suppose it would be fitting for my people to ignore you. It wouldn't be fitting for my people to ignore your needs. Oopsie, even if you're human. Use this. What's this? It looks like an ordinary mirror. The sea people mirror, once in, well, we call it a mirror, once installed would let you instantly travel to this village. Wow, is such a thing possible? Various disasters have caused our decline. Our ancestors were a very advanced civilization once. Right now, all we have left is a few of their relics, sadly. In any case, installing this in your village will allow you to come to this village whenever you need. It will recognize your face, so only you'll be able to use it. They'll call you Crazy Old Dave, and they'll throw you out of town. So don't tell people about the sea people. It also operates from the light of the divine tree, or the sun. See, you can only use it during the day. You have to still do the sushi stuff, even... Even if you don't like it, but the music bangs. I like it. I just wish I understood it a little better. That's a mean thing. Uh, oh, and I'll give you a village map to use. It'll help you find the villagers. Holy crap. A teleportation device? That's pretty amazing. I'll have to go back to the boat with this mirror for now. How big is this game? There's a whole village under Da Sea. You can visit the sushi bar during the day without having to worry about time passing. Relax. Why, though? It's it's almost... There's so much so far with, like, the diving stuff that I'm surprised you ever go into the sushi restaurant. There's so much stuff. I'm not complaining. It's just, like, mind-boggling. Mysterious weapon charm left behind by the octopus. Maybe something cool will happen if it's attached to a gun. Extra 50% of gun base damage added. Ooh. Uh, maybe not right away. I like the dash. Have a good day. Guess I'll go install the Sea People mirror on the boat. He said I could go to the Sea People village with this during the day, right? I should go tomorrow. Oh no, look at the time. Bancho Sushi must have opened already. I should drop by and check if anything of note has happened. Hey, someone keeps leaving notes. Uh, looks like I arrived too late. I should do a little cleanup. Do I still make money off of whatever was sold today, or did everyone stare at a blank menu all night? Huh? Miss Yoshi, what are you doing here? Well, my work ended just now, and I was passing by. I saw the lights were on, despite the hour. Bancho seems to have gone home early. Or already. He looked a bit tired recently. I'm worried he might fall ill. Hey, even so, I'm glad to see him working so hard again like this. Come to think of it, I heard he once gave up on cooking because of a... DL6 incident? Yes, back then, I thought he was gone for good. I wonder what it was about. Well, it's nothing that's secretive. I simply avoided mentioning it with him present, just in case it's still a sore spot for Boncho. I'm thirsty. Can you give me a glass of... beer? Uh, nothing so refreshing as a glass of beer after work. It's especially nice to have a view of the sea at night like this as I drink. I'll tell you a bit about Bancho and why he quit cooking for a while. It was 12 years ago. Go, go. Bancho's right next to us, right? Oh my god, Phoenix Wright. This is the dude... Uh, this is the Dugong, the, 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 this is the Dugong Hotel. I worked here 12 years ago. It's a five-star hotel with both tradition and a long history. It looks a bit old, yes, but at the time, the quality of the food and service had been newly improved. Yoshi, do you have a moment? What is it, manager? Well, oh, well, a troublesome customer left a reservation. A troublesome custom, a troublesome customer? This is hard. Do you know the actress Lois Crawford? She made a reservation. Lois Crawford. Wow, this is, yeah. This is Phoenix Wright. Let's fucking go. Our Dugong Hotel is a luxury hotel with many years of history and tradition. In the past, we had nobles staying in our accommodations, and many notable films were shot here. Many people seeking that sort of old-era nostalgia used our services, and 
and we had very high standards for the services we provided. The manager had spent his entire life at the hotel. It was like he was a living embodiment of its history. He had a lot of knowledge about the etiquette used by the upper class of each country, and he was very used to servicing those of high rank. Any VIPs sought his services. Smash. Lois Crawford. She was a leading actress with a long career until she became a mermaid. Her role as a spy in, in one of her most famous works, The 42nd Floor, shut up, was extremely impressive. Appears to have hit a slight slump as her new movies haven't been doing very well. I've heard that Lois Crawford can be very picky. But we are a very high quality hotel with history and tradition on our side. I don't think there'll be any issues if she comes. <laughs> so there it is. Nobody can beat the level of services and staff in this hotel. We've won many prizes as well. Just one thing. You haven't heard the rumors about her, have you? The rumors? Take a look at this. This is... She's famous not only as a chef, but a gourmet. That's a blurb she published in a travel magazine recently. It appears to be a description of her travels, but it's her bashing on the hotel she stayed in. Gloria Hotels are the best of the best, and yet she wrote such a scathing review. Bringing out the, the bad does make a person look more professional her writing is mostly like this why do you what do you suggest we do yoshi i suppose we can't refuse the reservation it's only for the hotels if only for the hotel's reputation's sake in that case we'll have to think about how we'll serve her we'll take the reservation but we also need to think of ways to satisfy her I suppose you're right do you have any ideas yoshi uh our hotel strengths are our long history and tradition as well as our high quality service uh, that the way we can satisfy her will only involve good use of these things. Did she reserve a suite? Yes, it's a suite. We'll need clean rooms and services that match her tastes. We'll treat her as a VIP. I'll look into the drinks and amenities she prefers and place them as I also check on the state of the rooms. And about who will receive her, I suppose I'll have to do that. Thank you. There's no one that can handle such a tricky customer except you with your long experience with many VIPs. I'm more tense than usual. And about the meals, we can offer her the buffet for breakfast, but we'll also need to ready a dinner course. Dinners at our hotel. It's Italian. Our hotel provides Italian food like a bistro in an a la carte style. We serve pasta or pizza with a simple wine. The chef learned to cook at Naples and his margarita pizza was good, but it didn't really go well with the dinner course. The dinners at our hotel, Japanese. Dugong Hotel's Japanese food has never been its strong suit. We only served udon or simple donburi. We've been making excep exceptional progress, however, after we hired Bancho. We've grown quite dramatically. Bancho is famous for his ability to reinterpret the use of ingredients, and his food was recently featured in Overseas Magazine. It might be our dark horse. Uh, that, me that means Japanese is likely to be our best choice. Bancho hasn't really proven himself yet. Do you think it'll be all right? Pancho's skill is indisputable. However, one great drawback is that he doesn't consider the preferences of his customers. His sole focus is letting people try new flavors. That is what drives his creativity, of course, but this time it won't really serve us. We're dealing with the infamous Lois Crawford, after all. I see. That's a good point. However, I think the best we can do right now is try and persuade Pancho. I agree. Best of luck, Yoshi. Pancho, are you here? Oh my god, look at him! I love him even more without hair, though. I'm just gonna be honest. Um, Miss Yoshi, what are you doing here? Oh, you're here. Good. I've come to check on the status of the manager's request. Look all you want. It's just an ordinary Japanese food kitchen. Bancho is a peculiar man. He suddenly appeared one day, handing us a resume and explaining he'd been learning in Japan. All the sushi establishments listed in the resume were top tier, but Bancho never stayed in one place for long. He told me that he moved on each time after learning enough. The manager had a long talk with him and left the operation of the Japanese food team to him. He could always be found in the kitchen busy with something day in and day out. He researched food on his own when there were no customers. He hated to be interrupted. Were you practicing? Well, yes. Training means thousands and tens of thousands of attempts Practice without rest is the only way to produce meaningful results. I see. I heard that you never skip research and practice, Bancho. It relieves me to see you so hard at work. What do you mean you're relieved? Bancho, would you be willing to try servicing a 
VIP? Servicing a VIP? That's right. We have an important guest who will increase our reputation, or rather, who might send it plummeting to the ground. Her name is Lois Crawford. Uh, she's an actress that infamously that's infamously hard to please and also a gourmet reviewer. It's been about a year since you joined the Dugong Hotel. Our Japanese food team, which was never very strong, received more attention in a short span of time. And we can't deny that your contribution to this was great. However, this means that we also get customers who want special treatment. So you mean to say that I should try and please this picky woman, Lois Crawford? Yes, this is important, as Dugong's hotel's reputation lies in the balance. Hmm. What do you say? For me, cooking has always been a battle with myself, not with others. Making perfect food has always been my goal, and that won't change no matter who I cook for. I simply use the best ingredients available in the current season and the most suitable recipe. Will that be okay with you? All right. I'll leave the individual dishes in your hands, Mancho. However, I would like to offer input on the method of servicing our guests. All right, you're the expert, Miss Yoshi, when it comes to serving, servicing food. Very good. Now as for the type of menu to employ, a sushi course offers various kinds of sushi in a certain order with a few side dishes interspersed in between. It allows us to use sushi to allow customers to try many types of fish. God, that sounds so nice. Um, what do you think of the sushi course? It'll all, it's also your specialty. I'm very, very familiar with the method. However, don't you think it'll be too ordinary? If we choose to go with this, we'll likely use tuna sushi, pike eel sushi, or Oliver flounder sushi as the main dish. Oliver flounder begin be, being in season right now. That won't be very impressive. However, all right, since it's to be dinner, I think a course would be better than a single dish. That means it'd probably be better to employ a Western course format instead. That'll be a bit different from the traditional method. I think I could add soup, an hors, d an hors d'oeuvre, sashimi, side dishes, sushi, tempura, and dessert to the course. What do you think? Not bad. What would you make for each dish? Uh, there's the soup to begin with. Oh my god. A few minutes later, I'm like, please. Like, what's happening? Yes, I think that'll, that'll be fine. I think that'll be fine up to the sushi. Tempura is next. I suppose shrimp would be the most logical choice. It's difficult to create any impact with shrimp. We've kept everything pretty normal so far, so this is where we add a little spice. I've been doing research. I've been I've been researching this very topic. How does something like this sound? Must have an idea. Let's hear it. Shark. Just let her fight a shark. That's the middle course. I'm thinking of a dish that uses a shark head. What? A shark head? Can sharks be eaten? Sharks are a very tasty dish. This is the time of year where they grow fat, boosting the flavor. The meat the cheeks in particular have a lovely chewy texture which reminds you of both ordinary meat and fish. But shark... Sh uh, shark is too exotic of an ingredient. Couldn't we use something a little more... widely consumed? Especially considering this is Lois Crawford. Good food will impress anyone. Anyone who takes a bite will recognize the food for what it is. Even if it's several years from now at a completely different restaurant in a different continent part of the world. That is the best possible food that can be found around here in the current season. Uh, I'll give it some thought. I, I'm sure, I'm not sure if it'll be okay. Can't help but think it's not that great of an idea, Boncho. Mm -hmm. If you serve that dish and things go sideways, the consequences won't affect you alone. Both the manager and I will also be, will also take part of the blame. After all, she's coming to the Dugong Hotel, not to a restaurant operated by you. Restaurant operated by you. Operated by you. By you. Hotel must seek to provide the most respectful and enjoyable experience to its guests. Nothing can be allowed to mar that experience, as the hotel will stand to lose by it. But there's no guarantee she'll hate it. She'll know from taking just a bite that it's one of the greatest foods. There's always an exception to the rule. She's an extremely picky person, after all. What a pity. I understand. I'll go with shrimp tempura, then. Though we can't compare shrimp. Can't compare shark. This way, Miss Crawford. Thank you. This is the chef who will be preparing your food today, Mancho. Hmm, he's younger than I expected. I was hoping for a slightly more experienced chef. Oh my, 
tight lips, Darby. Perhaps my looks leave you at a loss for words. <laughs> or maybe hand stuff? Let's go, hand stuff. Let's go. Uh, he seems quite, he seems a little tense. He's still quite a skilled chef, I assure you. I'll be looking forward to the food then. I remember the service here being quite all right for an old hotel. I like the carpet and the paintings on the walls as well. Furnishings a glory hotel of a kitsch quality to them I don't like. But to think there's no gym, that's a bit of a shocker. I used to exercise daily to maintain my figure. It was our intention that your stay be as restful as possible. Everyone has their preferred way of resting. Well, the bathing facilities were good. So I'll, con I'll content- that That's a weird- That sentence hit weird. I'll content- I'll content myself with that. That makes sense. Uh, so what's for dinner? A, Jap a Japanese course meal. Here's the course menu. Um... Ooh, yam soup sounds bomb. This is a steamed dish composed of grilled snapper and roe, which was then steamed, garnished with ground yam. The soup features the rich flavors of fish. I would probably, I, oh, my grandpa would make me snapper when I was really little. And I got in trouble once for eating too much because it was too rich and hurt my tummy, but I loved it so much. Uh, the soup features the rich flavors of fish. Hmm, is that a Japanese soup? It's got a bland flavor coupled with a spicy scent. Quite interesting. This is the flavor of the... Oh, I'm sorry. Shichimi. This is... There is a tiny bit of flavoring provided by a condiment made from seven different spices. And the next dish is... A few minutes later. So the tempura and dessert are left. What's the tempura? Don't tell me it's shrimp. The sort that's commonly served with rice. Sigh. The dessert's no doubt the usual fruit. I suppose I've tasted basically everything. It's hard to decipher her reaction. Have we succeeded? How do you like it? Are you happy with our Japanese food? Well, it's about as good as I expected it to be, I suppose. I suppose I could come here to eat every now and then, but why bother coming to a hotel to eat food that's quite average? Uh, even so, I'm sure our food is better than most of the other restaurants. The snapper soup or something was pretty interesting, but that's it. It was just a fishy soup with a spicy aftertaste. To think you added sticky yam on top, ugh, I don't really like the texture. Oh dear, it seems Japanese food isn't at all to your liking. Ignorant of the fact we served you Japanese. My mistake. Please accept my apologies. Whatever. It wasn't that good, but it was healthy at least. This hotel doesn't have a gym, so I suppose the food should be healthy at the very least. Um, may I have a word? Pancho. Allow me to introduce myself again. I am the bastard chef who works here, Pancho. Not much of a speaker. So I've been listening quietly. I find it impossible to maintain my silence now, however. Oh my, you do have something to tell me. Apparently you're supposed to have better food any than anywhere else, right? Now, now, Boncho, Miss Lois right here is just, it is most definitely my fault for failing to provide food that satisfies you. Will you not give me a chance to make up for my mistake? No need to be a shark about it. Let's not end this with a bad fin. He's like trying to do shark puns. Will you give me a chance to make up for my mistake? What? Oh, well, gosh, I'm a very busy woman. What you witnessed today aren't my real skills. I'll serve you food that you could objectively call good. Boncho, you can't be talking about. Hmm. So you're saying you have something else you think will satisfy me? All right, I'll wait, but remember, my time is valuable. Your food had better be amazing, or I will revoke the hen stuff. Boncho, you can't be thinking of... What is it, Miss Yoshi? Is there something I'm missing? All done. Oh my god. Yeah, the pixel art's still really cool, but yeah, the idea is supposed to be it looks disgusting, but tastes delicious. This is whole roasted shark head. Oh my god. This... This is... You fried the whole head? It's an amazing dish. The meat in the cheeks has been cut out. I chose to fry the head whole to preserve the supple texture. You'll never taste something like this anywhere else. It's high quality dish made use the best po using the best possible ingredient. Get that out of my sight. How can you call this food? What are you saying? Take just a bite. I guarantee you'll be transported to heaven. I'm not happy about this. Is this what service is like at the Dugong Hotel? It's all my fault. I'll apologize. Now, Boncho, Yoshi, you apologize as well. 
Sorry, Miss Lois. I should have been more vigilant. Looks are not all there is to food. Why do you refuse to even try it, Miss Lois? Boncho, now isn't the time to... I find this highly unpleasant. Is this some kind of hidden camera prank or a punishment? You'll pay for treating me this way. Don't think I'll let you get away with it. I'm leaving. Cancel my suite. Charge me a cancellation fee if you wish. I don't care. What? I don't know. I, I, maybe I just, I'll never understand stuck up people, <laughs> let alone fictitious stuck up rich people. That'd be dope as shit. Like, here's something you've never seen before from, like, a highly skilled chef at a restaurant. I'd be like, all right, like, I promised my grandmother I'd always try it. Unless if it's pufferfish. If I'm not ready to gamble quite yet, I'm allowed to step away. Um, after that, Boncho quit his job at the hotel and left, saying he needed to train. <laughs> oh, please tell me she'll show up to the sushi restaurant. It's my belief it wasn't so much that cooking itself as it wasn't so much the cooking itself as the ingredients and cooking methods that he mm. researched. I Work see. Still, I admire him a little for not giving up on that belief that he's going on the right path. I suppose it was the stubborn side of him that allowed him to attain his current level of skill. Mm. Working with you now, he even started social media. I feel something has changed about him, and I like it. But I feel I think you're good for him. Please continue to get along. I'll do my best to help Boncho focus on his cooking. <laughs> the cat. <laughs> it's me, Zip. <laughs> I've been the cat all along. I don't know. It's like you were also served like... You, you called it boring, but you were served like standard food. And you said, this is boring. It's like, I've got something crazy. Oh, Dave, you went around yesterday, so I was a bit worried. Uh, I couldn't get in touch with you via radio mm -hmm. either. I was at the Sea People Village oh, yesterday. Yeah. What? You what? You what? What mm. happened? Well, you see. Mm. We totally got to second base on my back. Mm. Everyone's my best friend. I'm basically king of the Sea People now. I see. I envy you. I do. What a lucky experience. Mm. Not sure how I can help, but it's clear that they have problems to deal oh, yeah. with. Why don't you go talk with the residents first? I'd love to go as well, uh, but as you said, only one person can use the Sea People mirror. What a pity. <laughs> huh, what an unexpected turn of events. If you need any of my tools, don't forget to check out the car. Camera shop. Ooh. Damn, that's a sign to end the stream soon. I just want to say, yes, I'll have to use the Sea People Mirror first to visit their village. I'm ready. So did we miss the jellyfish party? What happened? Use the mirror Tenzin gave you to immediately travel to the Sea People Village. The mirror is solar powered, so it's unable to be used at night. Oh, it's today now. Prepare the most ingredients and make a fortune. It me. Uh, cool. Uh, uh, there we go. Let's friggin' save. Wow, that was only five days. If we saved on day 10, this whole stream was only five in-game days, but I also made the most of everything. Holy crap. Well, I liked, I loved the visual style change to like, I guess it'd be more visual novel dating sim kind of vibe, whatever you'd call it. I like that change and I like, if you were, if it is like, if I were to call it a, 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 da a visual novel uh, format that Phoenix Wright look with the boxes and the head-on lightly animated sprites. Um, I love the idea of like a backstory conversation reveal. What happened back then? It was done as a visual novel. I think that's funny. 
Um, I like the little backstory. Um, and kind of switching it up. Again, like I was saying before, I'm so amazed how, like, big, like, it keeps going. Like, we're still, like, here's a net. Catch more stuff. Here's the gloves. You can use it to do this thing. Like, I'm impressed that there's still, like, so many more, like, big and little mechanics that keep showing up. And then it's like, oh, welcome to the whole, like, this isn't the scuba section anymore. Welcome to Atlantis, bitch. Like, it's so big. Like, that's crazy. Like, I don't know. I just wasn't expecting that. And, yeah, it's like all the ocean stuff and the diving stuff is so big. I'm amazed that there's also the restaurant sim kind of element like that that so far it's like the simplest part but it's it's chaotic and it's super important that's how you get your money but i'm sure after a certain point i like to think you can hire enough staff to where it kind of runs itself and you just catch the fish but i'm like the diving part is so big i'm amazed you ever set foot in the sushi restaurant and then help run the restaurant like this game is so big like that's really impressive and I love the visual flares. I love the style, but I also like the little animations and how like anime inspired it can be. And then like how like calming and relaxing and like the gameplay is like simple, but also like challenging enough without feeling like, oh man, like I don't get mad when I die. It also has that nice feeling of, yeah, it's frustrating to lose the stuff you had, but it's not like you failed, you are dead, start over. It's just like, oh, Go, you have to go go dive again because you, you dropped a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm sure it would get frustrating if I had something very specific in my bag and I died. But I don't know. I'm really enjoying it. I hope pe other people are too because I'm just nervous about how long this is because I'm like, I'm having fun, but I'm like, I was thinking this would be like three or four streams max, not like seven. Because if we're doing, like, a chapter a stream, I'm like, that's seven streams. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll break this up. We'll see how it goes after three streams. We'll end this week. And if, you know, people are liking it, you know, views, likes, comments, uh, donations, all that stuff. Like, if the metrics stand to continue on, I think I will. But, um, I don't know. Like, I just wasn't expecting it to be this long. Um, but I'm enjoying it still. Um, but I don't know. It's a nice vibe. It's a good time. I hope people are enjoying it. Thanks, Robison. I'm glad you are. Um, but yeah, that being said, remember to like, share, subscribe, leave comments, uh, ring the bell, all that good biz. Consider donating if you can or becoming a member, um, or going to the thirdbuild.com to pick up merch or donate there if you'd like. Um, I have some thank you videos to make. Um, speaking of, the app on my phone just updated. And shout out to the people who've donated, but I gotta, I get to uh, send out some thank you videos soon. Um, yeah, I was thinking about doing it kind of like Stardew. That's a good idea, because I'm like, I just don't want it to overstay its, well, I, I get like seven streams. I'm like, that'd be like two months. Or not two months, it'd be like a month. Um, but uh, consider donating or picking up merch at the thirdpill.com. Um, that's linked in the description, uh, along with my P.O. box and all that stuff. But next to all the ways to support me and all that good biz, don't forget to support yourself and the world that we share. Happy Earth Day, by the way. Um, just like always, there's a link in the description to a card uh, that'll send you to the social awareness, mental health, crisis lines, Trevor Project resources, things like that. Should you or someone you don't need them, uh, they're always there. So, you know, just in case... Um, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I've been really enjoying this game. I'm kind of just blown away with how big it is. Um, like, it just, it just keeps getting kind of deeper and deeper. Like, this feels like Stardew Valley, but instead of a farm, you're just out at the sea. You know what I mean? Like, it kind of does remind me, like, Stardew Valley. And it's like, okay, yeah, I'm planting... Okay, I'm cutting down trees. Oh, there's like a forest over here and a town over there. Oh, there's a mine. Oh, cool. There's a mine. All right, I, I've got my rhythm down. I'm picking up my ores. I'm planting my, my pumpkins. I'm getting my corn. I'm giving people gifts. 
I don't know if I want to be with Leah or the Doctor or Abigail. Those have always been my top three. Um, fight me. <laughs> um, but like, oh, okay, the mines, the town, the relationships I want to foster, uh, the stuff I'm planting. Oh, yeah, and fishing. Oh, yeah, and foraging. Oh, I want to get my stats all the way to 10. There's good bonuses. Oh, there's a bear you can talk to and he gives you a little secret. Oh, there's... Here's the hidden, like, here's the, th bring the little Jelly Boy stuff, and it unlocks a greenhouse. It unlocks a quarry. Oh, there's a gold scythe in the quarry. Oh, the desert. Oh, there's a whole other mine in the desert. Holy shit, it's a, like, 200-level dungeon. What is going on? Like, it's, it just keeps going. Oh, and then the, the summer island, too. Like, oh, my God, there's a whole other island with a whole other dungeon. And, uh, new, new people, new things, golden walnuts. Like, it... Stardew Valley just keeps giving and giving and giving and giving. And so far, Dave the Diver's been kind of like that. Drink the mayonnaise. <laughs> Eat the mayonnaise. <laughs> um, there's dinosaur eggs. You have a pet dinosaur now. It lives with your chickens. Like, it's just cool. Um, and yeah, Dave the Diver is definitely kind of giving that right now. And I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, we will be back uh, Thursday doing more Dave the Diver streams. And like I said, uh, depending on how far we get, if it really is going to be a, a stream, a chapter, a stream, seven total, I might take a break after three or four, do another game, and then come back to it. I don't know. I don't like jumping around too much, but yeah, if this ends up being the new Stardew for a while, I'm totally down with that. Um... But yeah, thank you so much, um, everybody, for hanging out and supporting me. Um, like I said, there's tons of ways to support me directly with like donations, memberships. Please consider that if you can or go into the thirdbuild.com. But if you can't, don't worry. You're also supporting me by hanging out, watching stuff, clicking things, making sure you're liking, sharing, leaving comments. There's tons of free ways to do it, too. And those are all important as well. Um, so thank you for spending time with me and hanging out big thank you to Catherine and robeson for the donations um and thank you again to the channel members consider becoming a channel member you get custom build emojis members only streams like when there's like gaming showcases and stuff and um help me pick games and everything um and uh i just posted like a short list of games i'm looking at right now um while i'm trying to kind of balance uh, coming back from um, being with my family for a little bit and my financial situation, um, paying off my credit card, setting aside money for equipment, PlayStation 5, all that stuff, but also, you know, games and everything. Because um, I picked up I pick up games when they're on sale more often than not, and I kind of have a small stack of games I've purchased on sale that we haven't streamed yet, and I'm like... I can't just keep buying games and then not playing them for like months, sometimes a year. Um, so the members, um, remember to check the community tab. Um, love some people's feedback on the short list of games I'm looking at right now. Um, and if you want to look at that list yourself and help me pick a game, consider becoming a member. Um, that's that's where I do a lot of the, because every once in a while I'll leave it up to the general, you know, community post stuff. But um, the members help me kind of pick or like hey i'm torn or hey i've heard about this game just to kind of see what people think um so if you want to help me with that or support me or uh get those beautiful custom bill emojis like robeson has right there um or hang out with me for the members only streams um that'd be a way to do it sometimes when we're doing video game showcases they take so long alana's a part of them because she gets back from work um but yeah, consider donating and becoming a member if you can. If not, no worries. Remember, you're helping out by hanging out. Um, I am debating turning on just like a dollar membership thing here on the main channel or something. Um, just to see if maybe like the price point is a thing for people. I don't know. It's a tough time. And I'm like, man, if everyone just like had a buck to give, like that really helped me out. But also like, I don't know your life. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to be like it's just a dollar, guys. But I don't know. Someone might be looking at. So I think the membership. I just set it to the standard price, which I think is four ninety nine. Um, that might be a little steep. So maybe if it's like, hey, Bill, like you're all right. Here's a buck. Like that's cool too. And it's weird that like there's no option, minus donating. Um, so I don't know. I might look into something like that. 
but love to know your thoughts and feedback thoughts on the game how you're doing how you're feeling what you do while you're watching the, the stream or the vlog let me know comment 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 engage 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 like subscribe ring the bell share the links follow me on social media at the third bill all that's linked in the description blah 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 you get it um but i don't know i had a lot of fun i hope you guys did too uh, it's weird i'm trying to like smash that like devour my content but also like hey man be a person like it's it's hard for me to juggle that which i think is why i make a lot of jokes about it because like yeah if you got a buck you want to throw it this way it helps keep content coming from me but also if you can't right now like you're not an asshole you know I, I i try to hit that perfect blend for me and i'll never make myself happy so i hope what i'm saying is clear there are ways to support me if you can and you want to but there's also tons of free ways to do it too make sure you're doing um as much as possible clicking that shit hanging out watching simple free and fun i like to think um i hope you guys enjoyed um and yeah, thank you again, uh, Robeson, and thank you, Catherine. I'm gonna double check that. Catherine, yeah, believe in yourself, Bill, in the heart of the cards. Thank you again, Catherine and Robeson, for donating. Thank you again for the channel members. Um, help keep things afloat. Thank you to the people who've been um, hanging out and stuff, and thank you for spending time with my dumbass while I'm trying to make silly voices while dealing with my temporarily fucked up mouth i'm hoping i'm hoping it'll get fixed before thursday but it might just be like this until next week um but anyway uh thank you again for hanging out guys again happy earth day be kind to the earth you know thank the flowers pet the bees leave the bees alone <laughs> um but i don't know hope you guys enjoyed hope to see you next time i upload or go live um yeah hope everyone's staying safe uh, thank you, Alana, for modding. Uh, yeah, catch you guys in the next one. And, uh, yeah, remember to grab a mask if you're heading out. Be mindful of others. And remember to take care of yourselves, please.